Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. How is everybody doing tonight? Disney, clarinet guy, clarinet guy, I am so sorry, I need to write a wrong. I actually am not even sure if clarinet guy is still in chat right now. But he came by uh, at some point before the stream started and said, Didn't give the option for clarinet on the poll. Okay, I'm out. Sorry, clarinet guy. So tonight, tonight's poll is a is a music related poll. And hold on, I I I'm kind of doing that thing where I like really was running late on stream and was like trying to rush and do everything before stream started like last minute. Um, okay, my sound is good. Everything's good. Uh, yeah, our poll today is you are a player in Hyrule's Korok Symphony. What instrument do you play? Uh, the options are piano, flute, violin, and trombone. Yeah, there's no clarinet option. I, it, it should have crossed my mind. It didn't. I don't know. Maybe I should have replaced piano with, with clarinet because piano is kind of like it is, you know, grand, grand pianos particularly are often used in orchestras, but for the most part, when you think of like an orchestra or a symphony, you think of like stringed instruments and brass instruments and all that stuff, wind, wind you know, uh, woodwind, all that stuff. So piano probably could have gone in favor of clarinet. Had I, could I go back in time, such as our hero of, well, he's not really the hero of time, he's the hero of wilds, but he has, look, he can freeze time at least. He has time altering capabilities. If I could go back in time though, I would I would fix my mistake. Hello Justin! Justin is here as well. Um, oh my god, it is really hot in here too. I don't know where my husband is. Hey Bill, can you hear me? Can you uh, turn it down a few degrees in the household? Because I am sweltering and though I am in a lava area right now in the game, I would like to not be in a lava area in real life as well. <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight? How are you all doing tonight? As you can see, the PC pile grows. Uh, today we have, what What do we have that's new? Uh, I think this thing, yeah, so this is new. This, this long black box that's kind of underneath the yellow one, that is my, um, that is my CPU cooler. It's got like three fans and a little thing that connects to like the back of where the CPU is and it keeps it cool. Um, we got, two more sets of other fans. We got a singular fan and then a set of three, so that's also back there. I'm also supposed to be getting the motherboard at some point before 8.45 p.m. tonight, according to... according to B&H, because I think B&H is, is who's uh, sending me the motherboard. And then uh, sometime between tomorrow and I believe Thursday, uh, the tower, the PC tower, the chassis, whatever you want to call it, the box that everything goes inside to make it work, the thing that actually looks like the PC, um, that arrives, I believe that's going to be probably the last piece, which is a bit, actually no, that's not true, I'm still missing the GPU, dang it, where's my GPU? Where is my 4090? I ordered a beautiful brand new Founders Edition 4090, where is it? I would like it in my possession, it's probably- it is! It is the most expensive component of the PC. I think... Look, don't quote me on this, because I'm probably wrong, but I think I paid like 2400 bucks for that thing. So it was very much a, a large portion of, of the cost of the PC, but it should be. I mean, the GPU is... The GPU and the CPU are the, the heavy hitters. Your CPU is like crunching out all the numbers and like managing all the tabs and like running all the code. And the GPU is the thing that's like rendering all of the pretty objects and making everything look good and all 3D and fancy and stuff. And like creating sun bloom and you know, all that water reflection shit. So, you know, those are the most important pieces. They're also the most expensive pieces. Uh, but I'm really excited. Oh, so I should probably mention this. I have made a decision. We are going to stream me building this PC. Justin, clarinet guy. Should I just call you trombone guy now? Because apparently clarinet doesn't get to exist in our in our poll. Uh, trombone guy. <laughs> Anyone who's here right now, um, I am streaming on Saturday, I believe, is, is when David and I have decided. That is when he said he is free. It also gives me... Uh, a little, it gives me like a day because I don't think we're streaming Friday, 
It gives me a day to set things up, and I need time to actually, like, sit down with Bill and work out the stuff, because what I would like to do with the stream is I would like to have one camera kind of pointing forward at, like, just everything, you know, like, level with the table or whatever. And then if we can, I don't know if this is going to be possible, but I'm going to see if Bill can manage this because he's, like, super awesome with tech. I'm going to see if we can do a second camera pointing literally down into the PC itself so that you guys can kind of see the little intricate, uh, you know, details of what's actually going on. Um, Disney says, how fun! I won't understand it, but I'm interested. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's also going to be kind of nerve-wracking because... There are some pitfalls and things that can go wrong with building a PC. Like, I think the thing that I'm the most worried about is installing the CPU. Because on the CPU, it's actually, it's either on the CPU or on the actual CPU slot. I'm not sure because I, CBH, I, some of them come with, the, basically there are little pins, okay? On either the CPU or the place that the CPU slots into, there are tiny little pins. They're kind of like, usually they're like copper colored, kind of brown orangey colored and they're very tiny and very thin and very delicate and technically you can bend them and then bend them back and fix them but it's very difficult to do that so it's recommended to just not bend them in the first place um and it can be a very delicate process so i'm kind of that's that's like the biggest thing that i'm worried about especially because the cpu is so expensive but um, it'll be a lot of fun. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be something new for the channel. I mean, we don't do stuff like this almost ever, so, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Today we will be playing this game once more. Um, and I, basically, my goal for today on stream is just to do literally as many shrines as we possibly can. We're also gonna do one more, uh... One more section of Terry Town, which I think is going to take us to Rito Village, and then we are going to also uh, do one more memory. I think I think that's my plan. I mean, if we if we go into our memory list, we have four more memories left. We have this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then we're done technically with memories. Um, there's gonna be one more memory that's gonna come after these four, so technically we have five, but we're gonna do at least one memory today, and honestly, just as many shrines as we possibly can. The first shrine that we are going to go do, I actually marked on the map yesterday because I saw it when we were out and about in the world. I think this is probably the best way to go at getting this one. Uh, but yeah, how, how have y'all been? Anything fun happen in your days today? Just trying to make some good old conversation, you know. Um, and remember, if you are in here now or even liking... Or, sorry, if you're in here now or even watching this stream in the future, as I know a lot of you do, uh, please like the stream. It really helps us out. Uh, we've been having a lot of success with our Breath of the Wild streams lately, and I would love to continue that trend. Um, so liking the stream really helps us out in that regard. Oh no, Link is cold. Oh god, it's cold here. Oh, I didn't want to go somewhere where it was cold. I never want to be somewhere where it's cold. Well, actually not true. Right now I'm pretty hot, so like in my room, but Bill turned the, the air down, I'm pretty sure. Um, speaking of, says Disney, I got the final shrine in the sky today. The item you get after completing all the shrines is not something I was expecting. I've never even seen a spoiler for it, which is impressive. I have not either. I have not either, and now I am intrigued. I didn't realize you got... Well, that's... I guess in this game, you do get something, don't you? I won't say what it is, because we haven't gotten it yet, but you do get something in this game, which I had forgotten about. Disney says, and that is all I will say about it. I'm very intrigued. I'm glad that they reward you with something, though, you know? All right, where is this shrine that I marked? Oh, right, it's marked, Vinny. Why don't you follow the... The, you know, oh, I don't know, the marker that you put on the freaking map, sir. <laughs> you know, sometimes my brain, it, like, takes just a few extra moments to chug on through to the solution, you know? Sometimes, sometimes, I think that's why my brain often tries to overthink things and, like, I try to overcomplicate stuff. Because the solution could be literally right in front of me, but 
brain does not want to necessarily view it that way. It wants to find like- it wants there to be like a complicated puzzle involved, I think. My brain likes doing extra work, apparently. There's a Hinox here, should we kill him? I don't know. I feel like we should probably kill him. You know, put him out of his misery. He's clearly miserable. Look how miserable he is. Oh, he's so miserable. Oh, what a miserable being. Look at him taking his nap there in peace. How dare he take a, a peaceful nap? Is he dead? No. How about now? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? Are you dead yet? <laughs> oh man, I'm just like, honestly, am I a bully? Am I a bully in this game? I think I am. I think I literally bully these poor Hinox. Was there a point to killing him? I don't think I needed to actually kill him for anything. Ooh, I could take pictures of these. Nobody's reminding me to take pictures of things. So like, I have to do it myself? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think this is out of these three. Wait, I've taken a picture of that bow before. Since when? I don't know, whatever. Apparently I have pictures of the other things. Apparently I do. So this shrine, is this just like a Vinny goes in? Gets thing and then that's it? What an easy shrine. I'm sure there's nothing more to the Da Caso shrine. Man, I, because I was in such a... So, basically, part of the reason why I was in such a rush is because I promised Bill yesterday that I would um, help him take the car over to the car dealership today. Um, so when he was coming home, he called me up and he's like, Hey, can you drive over to the car dealership? Um... And we'll leave the car there and then we can drive back together. And I was like, yeah, sure. Um, but what I didn't realize, we have three cars. So I have my own car, which is like a, it's like a beautiful green Mazda 2. And then we have kind of like, I mean, technically all of our car, like all of our cars are our cars. You know, he can drive mine, I can drive his, whatever. But like we have the, the we have a Ford, a blue Ford C-Max, which is kind of like a, it's, Still mostly his, he drives it more than I do, but I drive it occasionally, if especially if my car is being repaired or whatever. And then we have a, um, a Ford Bronco, like a beautiful yellowy, it's, it, I think it's called like Cosmic Orange or something. Uh, Ford Bronco, it's beautiful, it's like yellowy orange. Um, and that's more Bill's because that's a stick and I can't drive stick, so that really is just his, his vehicle. But, um, apparently he wanted me to take the blue car to the dealership because the blue car needs fixed, and he was riding the um, the Bronco, and I didn't realize that that's what he meant. So I actually drove my green car over there, and I pull up into the Ford dealership, and he's like, he's like giving me these hand signals, like, what the hell? And I'm like, oh, something bad must have happened, and maybe they're like being slow or something at the dealership, and then I open the door, and he's like, you were supposed to bring the blue car, and I was like, what? I was like, I didn't even see the blue car. And he's like, it was around the corner, around the house. And I was like, well, that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> so basically, we both got in my car. We drove through KFC and got like a chicken sandwich and some nuggets. And he dropped me off back home and then he took the green car back. And no, he took the, the blue. Yeah, he took the blue car back and then rode the the Ford Bronco back. So it, it like turned into this big old thing, but it also like kind of uh, caused me to be a little bit behind schedule. What level of, of uh, test of strength is this? This guy doesn't look very difficult. I bet you this is like a low level one. Well, why don't we still, why don't we still destroy this man's life, shall we? You, you guys wanna, you wanna see a man's life be destroyed before our very eyes? Come here, sir! Eat my edge of duality! Ow! No, let, I said eat it! Eat it, eat it, eat it! <laughs> oh man, you really are... you're a wimp. <laughs> yeah, this must be a minor test of strength. I've never seen one go down that fast, unless it's minor. Alright, let's grab all the parts. And we will, uh... We'll go open the chest and get our very easily earned spirit orb. I can't believe that something this easy is... Like, it just goes to show you that there's so many shrines that you really can just, like, miss even the... the simplest, easiest ones. Oh my god, an ancient core. That's nice. 
That'll help us upgrade our ancient set, which I keep forgetting is a thing. You know, I grabbed all those ancient weapons, and then I have not been using the set or the weapons. But honestly, what that means is that our barbarian set has been getting a lot of use, and I'm super cool with that. Because I actually quite like the way the barbarian set looks. All right, so we did the one shrine that I know of. There's obviously the shrine that's in the Forgotten Temple, I believe it's called, but we are not doing that one until the very end. We're saving that for like Shrine 120. So now I'm like at the point where I'm like, oh shoot, what do I do now? I think that this would probably be a good time to start consulting the book. Because at this point, we are like, what, we have like 50, isn't it like 15 shrines left? I think as of start of stream, we have 16 and now we have 15 left. So let me look at the, let me look at the book. Maybe I can get it to open to the page that I need. I don't know. Oh, yep, there we go. I've opened this thing to the shrine page so much that it's like kind of easy to find it. All right, so I've got it open. We're going to consult our map. I'm pretty certain pretty certain that we have done everything in the Hebrew region, but let me just double check it. Because what I don't need happening is me finding out that I actually missed something when I thought I had them all in an area, and then me running around being like, where's the left shrine? I don't know where it is. Um, so it looks like there should be, yeah, there's four shrines kind of surrounding this tower over here, the Hebrew tower. And then there's one down there. Oh my god, this is so tedious, man. I wish I... Like, maybe I should have done this off-stream, like, made a list of all of the shrines that were still missing and done it off-stream. Also, I know that we have the Blood Moon Shrine, which is right here. But we have a teleport set there. Oh, there's one? I wonder if this is the one that I was thinking of the other day. There's apparently one right there. And also, let's start here. We need to start getting rid of these pins that I'm not using. Like this can go away, this can go away, and this one can go away. Hmm? Disney says, yeah, I used a map to find my last shrine. It was on a set of islands I had never been on, which is weird. Like these? Was it, was it these? Oh no, because you're talking about Tears of the Kingdom, I feel like. Um, same concept though. All right, so so if this is the Blood Moon Shrine, and this is another shrine that I've already marked, we've done this one. Uh, ah, there's one here. There's one right here. Um, we've done that one. Oh, and there's even another. Wow, there's like two of them over here. I'll see. I mean, to be fair, we haven't really spent a lot of time up in the mountains of the Gerudo region, so that makes sense to me. There's three in a line in the desert there. There's two surrounding the town, which we have. There's two, like, in this little alcove south of the tower. There's one slightly northwest of the tower. There's kind of, like, three in this formation, which we got. There's the one over in the maze. There's one here, sort of slightly above Naboris. There's one slightly above that. There's one in the water, which we got. There's this one. So Gerudo region looks like it'll be done after those two. Why don't we start with these three? Why don't we start with the three that I've marked? Um, let's go to this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll go from... What is this? Is this Satori Mountain? I think this is Satori Mountain. Hey, maybe on the way through we'll actually be able to catch that bloopy horse. Probably not. Uh, what is the requirement for that thing to spawn? Does anyone know? Because I feel like it definitely does not spawn every night. But it has to spawn frequently. I don't know. It has to spawn frequently enough, right? Do I have a picture of a crow? Now would be a good... Well, okay, never mind. Let's say now would be a good time. Oh god, there's a ton of them. Oh god, there's, there's a lot. Oh, I do have pictures of them, though. So I don't need that. All right. Well, then let's go off this way. Uh, Link, probably we're going to put on your climber set. That's the best set for exploring. We also, like, I would personally like to go to the Great Fairy at some point today and upgrade some gear. Because we haven't done that in a few streams, and I'm not sure if we even have the capability of upgrading anything new, but if we do, it would be nice. I mean, at this point, 
I have not run into a single enemy that's gonna cause me trouble, and to be fair, I don't think that... I don't think that up, like, maxing out my armor is even necessary. Honestly, I could probably beat the game fairly easily, like, beat Ganon fairly easily, with even just, like, a level two, like, just an entire level two set of armor would probably be enough defense, but having the extra is nice, because you, you never know when you're gonna take a laser beam to the face, you know? You know, that you never know. So, when that happens, the extra defense is nice, but honestly, it's just not... I think that the thing that makes me... F you know, I'm not going for it. I was gonna go down there and get that, but no. The thing that makes me feel extra comfortable is just the simple fact that, um... You can't die if your health is at full. If You can't be one-shot by anything. If you are at full hearts, and it doesn't even include, it doesn't have to be overfill, it just if I am at my full maximum current, you know, heart capacity, then if I get hit by something that would otherwise have one-shot me, it leaves me at a quarter of a heart. Um, and this is the shrine that I was trying to find the other day. Okay. So, the idea with this shrine is that there's all these little... I don't know what to call them. Monuments, maybe? And they have holes in them. And you're supposed to be able to shoot an arrow through two of them. And so, like, if I'm looking through this one, which I can, there's no way to actually shoot an arrow through this one into another one. So basically, you're just looking for two sets of these that connect in some way that allows you to shoot an arrow through them. So, like, this one isn't going to help us at all. And I remember this being kind of annoying, but I also remember it being, like, like, the answer was one of them that was kind of, like, on the outskirts. So, like, let's start with the ones that are more on the outside. I don't know. There's not even a lot of them over here, TBH. Uh, ooh! That- oh my god, did I already find it? It- it has to be that, right? But maybe I have to do it from... Well, no! It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be anything. I think you have to do it legit. You can't... Like, I couldn't grab a box or something and stand on it. Honestly, I don't think this is gonna work, though. Oh, and my bow is broken. Wonderful. Um, just wonderful. I don't think this is gonna work. Also, should we change to- God, I only have 20 regular arrows. This is kinda... Oh! Wait a minute. That works? No, that does not work. There's no way. Wait, is that not going through? There it is. Wow, I found that really quickly, actually. Disney says, yeah, I remember this one being a pain. Apparently, I, I, I don't know. I mean, that was obviously by complete trial and error. I didn't, I didn't know which one it was, but I was just like, let's just try these. <laughs> so there we go. This is technically, I think, also a cast puzzle. So he should be, like... I think he's, like, all the way over there. Oh, yeah! There he is. Do you see him? He's all the way over there, playing his music. But you don't actually need to talk to Cass to be able to do these. You don't need to. It's fine. Shim Dago's Shrine. Dago's? Oh, we love the Dago... The Dago's. The Shim Dago's, apparently. Did I- I feel like I just heard Bill, like, groan from the other room. <laughs> I feel like I just heard him groan. It could have been completely unrelated to what I said, but I hope it's not. Oh, it's one of these shrines. Okay, well... How- what does this do? What does this button do? Ah, I see. Quick! Oh yeah, who's a master at the puzzles? Oh, but we don't want them both to ro Okay, well, it's fine. One of them can go in. Wait, how do I- WHAT?! Are you serious? So wait, do, should I start it with this one then? Maybe I should start it with this one. Oh wait, how is this gonna- Wait, ah! <laughs> wait, 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 I'm getting confused. Okay, that's fine. Alright, that's fine. So now I just do the same thing, but- but better. Different. Um, quick! Yeah, I think this is what I do. Yeah, that's all I do. So I guess if it- it has this built-in mechanism where if more than one ball is in the same hole, it tilts itself. 
So wait, that that's the solution? But there's always, there must always be a secret chest. No, there's something fishy going on here. Aha! <laughs> okay, I don't want to jump off into the abyss. Come on. Yeah, like, like I almost just did anyway. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, all that for a great thunder blade that I don't even want? We need to go put our great thunder blade in our house. That is also really evil that they do that. They should make the elevator wait, like, a second before going away, but they don't. That's so incredibly mean. I guess I could have stasised it. Maybe that's what I should do when I play this game for a fifth time, is stasis that platform and then step on the thing. Would that even work, though? Like, would it still activate the platform and it wouldn't move and then it would move once? I don't know, I don't understand. Would it... Would it build up kinetic energy? Because, like, whatever force moves the platform is, like, still trying to push on it? I don't know. David says, feel like the elevator slowed down once it got far enough you couldn't hop on it, too. Oh, yeah, just to, like, rub salt in the wound. Just to... Be especially because, again, I would like to reiterate, this whole trip down here was a waste of my time. Because I don't need that great thunder blade. <laughs> Maybe I should have just taken it anyway out of spite, but I don't need it. In the, in the words of a great yellow man. A great yellow man once said, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. How many times have I referenced that episode of SpongeBob? You know what one of my all-time favorite episodes of SpongeBob is? Is the one where um, I think they're house-sitting for Sandy and they let like a butterfly escape. And it, like, flies around via, like, a bubble, which somehow miraculously never pops and also doesn't float to the surface of the ocean. I don't know how physics allows that to happen. But it, like, flies around Bikini Bottom and, like, terrorizes everybody. And by the end of the episode, like, Sandy comes home on, like, a bus and she just looks off into the distance and it's just, like, the entire Bikini Bottom is, like, on fire and burning to the ground. <laughs> All because of, like, a butterfly. It ate wormy. Oh yeah, they they think that the butterfly ate the the caterpillar, and they were calling it wormy. And w did she name it wormy, or did they name it wormy? I don't know. Either way, really really good episode of SpongeBob. I love that episode so much. All right, so we did that shrine. Wonderful. Uh, now let's go over here. We're gonna spend some time in the Gerudo region. There's some fun stuff over here in the Gerudo region. I believe there are several rare variants of a stone talus um and the rare variants are the ones that drop like the best gemstones i think you can even get diamonds from them basically the way talus work is they're all the way all of the mini boss enemies work is that they're on spawn like things like basically they all spawn in the exact same places every time they they come back and they always come back after a blood moon and there's like, I want to say that there's like almost 30 talus in the entire game. And you can actually kill almost all of them. Usually, I feel like there's a built-in mechanic where if you kill a bunch of mini bosses, a blood moon is more likely to spawn. And hey, if that's true, maybe we should do that so that we can spawn a blood moon for that one shrine. But, um... Basically, you can kill like 20 or so talus before the blood moon comes and and then the blood moon comes and then you just kill the talus all over again. And that's like in general, if I want to make a lot of rupees in this game, that's like the best way that I find it. You know, that's that's the best way of making rupees that I find in this game or that I have found. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make this sound like coherent and like I'm, you know, an actual intellectual like human being except apparently I'm not I don't know so um, uh, I usually when I do my talus runs though I kind of start out in this region because there's a lot of them in this area that have um, really good loot because they're like the rare quote-unquote variant there's like rare frost uh, magma I think is what it's called um, and then you've got, like, the regular one, and then I think there's even one more variant. Is it Luminous? I think there's a- I think there's a Luminous variant as well. I think there is a Luminous variant. 
Uh, do I need ice key swings still? Why don't we just get them? Just in case. Oh god, it's- it's Farosh! God, look at how beautiful he is! He's so beautiful! Farosh, I love you! I'm your biggest fan! Um, actually, Farosh tried to kill me yesterday. Oh no, that's not helpful, Link. That's not helpful. Farosh tried to kill me yesterday, Farosh. Why- why- why are you like this? Why can't we be friends? Farosh, if you would just give me your horn pieces, like, for free, then I wouldn't have to... I wouldn't have to shoot arrows at you. Have you ever thought about just helping me out, Farosh? Why must it be this way? Farosh was just messing with you. You mean almost murdering me was just messing with me? I don't know, like, literally, we had a quarter of a heart left. If that's just messing with me, then I don't know. That felt like attempted murder to me. Oh my gosh! NC! NC is here, friends! Disney, do you remember NC? NC, how are you doing, friend? Long time no see! Welcome back to Breath of the Wild, friend. It has been... It has been a hot minute since we have seen you. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. This is my new account, says NC. I would not notice any difference, because it's just also called NC. <laughs> what do, what does the NC stand for, may I ask? Unless it's like, I don't know, something like inappropriate, but I, I kind of doubt it with you. It's probably not inappropriate at all. Does it stand for North Carolina? That is the state that I live in. The entire state of North Carolina is viewing my stream. Oh, first name and middle name. Oh, okay, that's simple enough. I- I would like to believe that your name is- Oh my god, your first name is N? Oh my god, guys, it's N from Pokemon. Oh man. Oh man, long time no see N from Pokemon. Oh god, what is that? Oh, don't I just have to shoot? Oh, do I have to shoot that with, like, light with shock arrows? Maybe that's just to shoot it with shock arrows thing. Shall we try? Here, I'm gonna get close, because honestly I don't trust my... I don't trust my bow skills. I'm not- I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm not very good at the bow. I rarely play it in video games, actually. Wow. Talk about an easy shrimp. God, honestly, I'm- I am so ready to just smash a million shrines. Oh, by the way, NC and anybody else who's in here, smash the like button, please, and thank you. I'm gonna be real persistent about it today because I wanna, I wanna get over 10 likes at least, like pretty quickly. Like that would be, that would be my, that'd be like a, an early Christmas present to me. And I see somebody already did it, so thank you. It was probably NC, thank you, NC. Bill says smashed. Would you guys like to smash my like button? <laughs> Bill says like a burger. Mmm, a smash burger. Have y'all ever had a smash burger? They're pretty good. But isn't the, aren't the burgers at Freddy's basically smash burgers? It's basically like a, a burger, but they like smash it on the grill. They make it like real thin. And it's like kind of crispy around the edges. It's like really tasty. Bill says I miss smash burger, the one in Jersey. Yeah. Did I ever go there with you? I don't know. Well, I, I don't... Did we? No, I don't think I ever ate at a Smash Burger with you. I'm now kind of questioning if I ever ate at a Smash Burger, period. Were there none in New York? Disney says, oh, this shrine. I vaguely recall this being connected to a quest from someone in Gerudo Town or the Oasis, I think. But so basically, um, maybe we'll go back. If we ever decide to do all the quests in Gerudo City, Gerudo Town... Uh, maybe they'll just be like, oh, you already did it, huh? And then the quest will be done. That would be nice. Bill says crispy on the edges foods are the best foods. Oh my god. You know what else is really good crispy around the edges is cheese. And also egg. I really, when, uh, what I love is like a good, um, over easy egg, but with the edges like ever so slightly thin and crispy. Not burnt but just crispy, like a nice light brown. Almost, it's almost like a translucent brown. It's kind of strange looking, but it's delicious. Y'all know exactly what I, if, if, like, I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. <laughs> I 
Did I did I do it right? Did I say the ac acronym correctly? Oh no, we have to climb a mountain and it's cold. Well, I guess I guess we're probably using stamina food then, Link. In fact, I'm really impatient, so let's just. <laughs> I'm- look, I'm really impatient, and I made stamina food for a reason, y'all. I made it for a reason. This is that reason. Hello, reason, that I made stamina food. <laughs> my- my impatience is basically- Oh god, it's Marquise! Die! Ooh, I got them. Oh my god, they like, kind of stayed in the air for a little bit before they died. That was strange. Rivali! Why must you only have three charges, sir? It's very inconvenient for me. Why couldn't you have, I don't know, 60 charges would be a better number, in my opinion. Saberkite is here! Hello, Saberkite! All the friends! I bet you Saberkite is here because y'all liked the street. That's a load of croc. Saberkite would be here anyway, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to be like, oh yeah, look, the, the cause, what is it? Something and causation? I don't know, is that a word? Is causation a word? It is now. You hit the like button, Saber Kite showed up. Oh god, my loot! My loot is on fire. My loot, my loot, my loot is on fire. Tomorrow is supposed to be lo load in for our set into the theater. It just started pouring, of course. Wait, it's raining outside right now? And I'm missing it? I love the rain. Oh man. Wasn't raining earlier. It was like hot and like pretty sunny. Unless you're talking about it raining in Southern Pine. And Bill says, yes, we ate there on the way back and forth to parade. Oh, I suppose we probably did. I suppose we probably did. Bill says no on our house. So it's not raining here, but you, but you know it's raining over there. How do you know this? Do you, do you frequently check the weather for places you don't actually live in? <laughs> oh, maybe you were checking it because- Oh, this is fake. Oh, this is a bamboozle. You can't fool me, Octorok! Ow! Hey, whatever. You know what? I'll take it. An eye for an eye. Or I should say a balloon for a balloon. No, it's raining on our house. Oh, it is raining. Honestly, I can't tell. We have a metal roof. I feel like I should be able to hear the rain, but I can't. <laughs> it must not be raining very hard then. Yeah. Oh God, why do I always do that? You know, you know what it is. It's because I have to use, I have to use. Well, okay, I have to use this little like analog stick to like lift the magnesis and the chest up. But if you click down on that analog stick, it does the Sheikah Slate thing. And it's like a lot more um, sensitive than I think it should be. It's like a lot more sensitive. We haven't got, we've gotten a white pigeon before, have we? Huh. Have I gotten a good picture of one though? Oh, that would, oh, that would have been so good. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that is so much better. <laughs> I remember taking that other one too. I was like, eh, good enough. I guess that's a picture of a white pigeon. Oh my god, there's so much- There's like, simultaneously a lot of stuff in this area and also not a lot at all. It's like barren and yet there's like still things here to, to find. It's quite interesting. Have I taken a picture of the cold pebblets? I haven't. Hey, wake up. Let me get a good picture of you. I need a good pick. I need a- I need a good pick. Is that a good one? Good enough! Alright, goodbye. I don't actually intend to kill you. I could. I could if I wanted to, but I won't. Because I- I have lots of shrines to find today. Lots of them. I don't know. I would like to get at least eight. That's my goal. I would like to get at least eight. Because then we would have eight left for potentially tomorrow's stream, and then maybe we could do all 120. I don't know. That is a thing that could actually be accomplished if Vinny is good at video games. Because like I said, I think we needed 16 at the start of stream. I think we started with like 104 done. I don't know. Disney says, I'm starting... 
I'm starting hang for Frozen on Thursday. We're tentatively scheduled for three days of hang. The LD has maxed out our inventory. I'm already exhausted thinking about it. Oh man, does this also mean that you will not be here Thursday stream? Well, that, that makes me extra sad. Lexi is here. Well, actually, Lexi, you're probably here this whole time, but lurking, huh? Oh no, you said, you said something in Discord about Amtrak being slow. Are you on a train right now, Lexi, or were you just on a train? That's so cool. Lexi says, wait, you're close to 120? I'll give me like however many minutes it takes. Oh, there we go. Look, yeah, Lexi, look. We have 13 shrines left. <laughs> we we and and we are going to be doing the DLC. We're doing the DLC. Oh god, this is a major one. Oh. Well, guess what? You know what? I'm so ready to just smash this guardian. Smash or pass. I'm going to smash this guardian. Um I, I'm pretty sure I'm using that terminology that the kids use these days correctly. Uh, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Attack food? Do we have it? We only have two attack foods? I, I must make more of that. Where am I, but where are my bananas? Actually, do you have to take a picture of each level of the, the, the guardian scouts? Let's try to take a picture of this one because I'm actually not sure if we have. I know we've taken a picture of a Guardian Scout, but I think that all three of them are different levels and they count for different, like... I keep wanting to say Collectopedia, but that's not, that's not right. Alright, so yes, we did need a picture of that, we now have one. It's, it's a Guardian Scout 4 and I'm about to be lasered! How dare you? How dare you? Quick, spin to win! Oh yeah, your health is about to be just melted. Oh yeah! Whoa. Y'all, that was a major test of strength. That Guardian had 3,000 health. I just ch chunked 3,000 health in like five seconds. I need to get rid of stuff now. God, I really should get rid of the Boulder Breaker. I really should get rid of it. But I said I was going to use it on, on a Talus, but like... You know what? It doesn't matter. I, you know what? I can get rid of the blizzard rod. I don't- I don't really- actually, doesn't that have durability up? It does. Let's get rid of the frost blade then. We're gonna get rid of the frost blade. We're gonna take the battle axe plus plus. And I guess the spear because I had room for it. And then I'm gonna drop... I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna grab that. Yeah. Lexi says, no, not anymore. I just got home. Where, why, why were you on a train? Is this a, is this a regular occurrence for you? Like, is this like a regular commute or were you coming from like some special place? Sorry, I'm, I'm being nosy and also just trains are fun. Uh, Bill says, we have 23 lights. I will max out our inventory and they took three for the dance concert the, in the other venue. Dang the dance department. <laughs> Curse them. Disney says, we're starting at 10 a.m. and I really hope we're done by around 5 p.m. Oh! So you might be able to make stream, but you will be incredibly tired is what you're saying. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Oh man. And plus actually... Yeah, because I guess... Oh yeah, do, do my streams start at 5 p.m. for you? I guess they do. I guess they must. Saberkite says, when I played Breath of the Wild, I wasn't planning on getting all shrines, especially since I hated tests of strength. I surprised myself when I got it all. High five, friend. Don't you love that feeling of, of accomplishment, though? Lexi says, I gotta go to Boston every few weeks for appointments. Ah, I see. So you were coming probably back from your appointment. Amtrak's been 12 minutes late the past two times. If you take a train in Japan, they are never late. Those, dude, I don't know how they have achieved this, but the Japanese have literally got their train systems down to a T. Saberkite, you've visited Japan, right? I think we talked about this. Like, am I right or am I right? Like, Japan has the craziest accuracy on their... Like, literally, they will tell you on their little electronic signs in the station exactly to the minute when the train is going to not only arrive, but also depart. And it's always on time. So, like, if that sign says that that train is arriving at 7.33, it arrives at 7.33. It's kind of magical. 
Saberkite says, yes, their trains are so on time. They really are. It's kind of miraculous. All right, Link is cold. Um, all right, were those all the shrines that I actually marked? I think so. God, we're really going through them. That's the plan. That's why this shrine, this, this, sorry. That's why this stream is called Scouring Hyrule for Shrines. All right. I think the Gerudo area is done. I think we never need to come back to this place ever again unless I plan on doing the Thunderhelm thing. So, all right. Consulting the book again. God. I guess I need to systematically go through each, probably like region. So now I'm trying to like go down basically the bottom of the map. So I'm like kind of into the Farron region right now. And I think for the most part we have, I'm, I'm gonna guess that we have all of the shrines in the Farron region. Cause we spent a lot of time there. It's one of my personal favorite regions. And so any chance I ever had to like be in the Farron region, I like pretty much took it. There's those three shrines that are over by the Dueling Peaks. There's the Stables one. Oh my God, there's so many, so many shrines in this game. Is that the Akala Ancient Tech Lab that they have marked? Yes, that's not helpful. This is supposed to be a shrine map. N Does this say an Akala Ancient... Er, sorry, not Akala. Hateno. Does this say a Hateno Ancient Tech Lab map? No. It said... It's specific Look. It specifically says... Can you guys see that? Shrine map. I don't know. Can you see it? <laughs> I don't have my, my viewfinder up for me. I think you can see it. It's like barely, yeah, I think it was like barely at the top. I have proof, it says shrine map. Anyway, <laughs> that was me complaining about a whole lot of nothing. Ooh, I think I found one. I think there's one right here in this little, this little area. Um, and then we've got the two over by Kakariko Village, of course. Um, I'm probably gonna mark like three of these at a time, maybe we'll say. We don't need to go crazy. Plus, I would like to actually look up at my live chat every once in a while and confirm that y'all are still here and chatting with me. Um, there's the one there. There's two over here by the castle, and then there's a third one in the back, which is in the dungeons. Uh, ah! There's one here. There's one there. Interesting. I don't know how I missed that one. Um, we got all of the ones in the forest, like literally all of them. So I don't have to worry about those. I got this one. There's the, there's obviously the blood, the blood moon shrine. Um, which one is the blood moon shrine? Ah, okay, that one. And then, and then that one we just did today. I, I have this one. Oh God, I hate this. This is my least favorite thing. I mean, yes, I could maybe just, oh, I don't know, find them on my own, but I don't want to. Girls don't want to have to look at maps of shrines. They just want to have fun. I'm, or so I'm told. Is that the woodland stable? Oh. Wait, really? There's, wait, we've been to the woodland stable. How, there's a shrine over here and I never got it? Okay, I'm intrigued. We're gonna go do that one. <laughs> oh, clarinet guy, you're back. I saw your comment earlier, and I profusely apologize for not including the clarinet as an option on our poll. I I profusely apologize. In fact, I'll I'll say this much: stick around for tomorrow's poll, and I think you'll get what you want, clarinet guy. <laughs> I think you'll get what you want. Oh, he actually mentioned it in chat. Hey, I know I said this earlier, but I was yapping about clarinets yesterday, and yet there are no option for clarinet in the poll. And Disney says, Vinny apologized earlier. He said he shouldn't have replaced, he should have replaced piano with clarinet. Yeah, I mean, in retrospect, yes, pianos are included, you know, grand pianos and symphonies, but I wouldn't like, it's not really like a, it's not like a, you know, uh, a string or like a, a wind instrument or like, you know, that kind of stuff. It, it, it's the least sort of like symphony orchestra instrument out of all of the ones that I listed. So yeah, I should have, I mean, 
I should have done clarinet regardless, but I completely forgot that we have a person- like, I don't know, just slipped my mind, I guess. I don't know, that we have a person whose entire name is named after the clarinet. You are literally THE... THE clarinet guy. Oh my god, how did I miss this? <laughs> how did I miss this shrine? It's just like right here. You know, sometimes my ability to not notice things is kind of impressive to me. Like, I impress myself with how, like, not functional I am as just like a basic human being. Miro Shaz Shrine. Clarinet is the main instrument in Korok Forest. Ah, yes. So it's not an oboe. <laughs> it's not an oboe. Disney says, okay, I was looking at the plot and counting individual instruments, about 240. We need to hang about 240 individual instruments on seven line sets, six drop downs, and two booms. I'm gonna be so muscly. Are all 240 of those instruments clarinets? Or or are they are they mayonnaise, Disney? Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> uh, screw elevators. I don't wait for ele I don't wait to take elevators. Elevators wait to take me. I don't I don't know what that means. I okay. I am 99.99999% repeating, of course. Sure. <laughs> That's not how repeating works. I think it has to be 33333, three, 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 doesn't it? I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty certain that there is a Um, what am I trying to say here? There there's a there's a sledgehammer in this. Yeah, there is. <sighs> However, I don't really want it and I like I want it you know what? I can get rid of one of these. You know what? Let's just get rid of, uh... Well, here, we'll get rid of this. Sorry. Yeah. It's gone forever. David says that your pole was also missing mayonnaise is a further crime. Oh, shoot! You're right. Oh, shoot. Man, I really messed up tonight, didn't I, friends? Clarinet guy says, I know, and that was Terrytown. Oh, the oboe. A Spongebob reference is mayonnaise an instrument? Correct. Good job. 10 points. 50 points to Gryffindor. Actually, no. Screw Gryffindor. 50 points to Slytherin. Hey, we have new people around. I haven't shown you guys this. Disney is like, Vinny, why do you always have to show people your wand? I'm going to show you all my wand. Look, it's right here. I can literally grab my wand right now and pull on it. You see? It's my wand. <laughs> I'm a Slytherin, and I actually have Lucius Malfoy's wand. <laughs> it, it, like, comes out and everything, see? I can put my wand into this tight, like, little compartment. Um, it's very nice. It's made out of metal. It, like, really could hurt somebody if you hit them with the fang. But I'm a Slytherin, so, no. 50 points not to Gryffindor, 50 points to Slytherin, because Slytherin is Master House. <laughs> Disney says, oh no, Vinny's whipping out his wand. This is a good Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Clarinet guy says, Ex well, technically he says Expelliarmus, but I think he meant to say Expelliarmus. Saberkite says, that's so cool. I know, isn't it? See, I knew we have new people in here. I wanted to show them my wand. I look, I have to show everybody my wand. I have to show everybody my wand. I just have to. David says 50 50 DKP minus Vinny. Oh no, many whelps left side. Handle it, David. Many, many wands left side. Handle it. <laughs> Would y'all like to handle my wand? <laughs> Okay. I just heard Bill scream from the other room. Not as much as you do. That is blasphemous and and um, slanderous and what other words? Lo no, accurate's not one of the words, Bill. <laughs> Rude. Okay, you didn't need to come in and also insult me to my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> Saber Kite says, it was bigger than I thought. Oh no! <laughs> you thought my wand would be much smaller? How do I do this? Do I just simply... Well, here, what is... Oh, doesn't this just spawn a new ball? Okay. I think I need to use my sledgehammer to hit this ball into the hole. With stasis. Right? Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's way too much. That is so... Oh, it went in! Oh no, my ball went in, but then it came back out! Oh, this is a travesty. Okay, so spinning to win is... Well, it's a little bit risk versus reward, because you don't want to spin too many times. God, that's that's not straight though. I need it to be straighter than that. That's also not nearly okay. So three more than three hits, more than three hits is needed. Okay. Oh God. Clarinet guy says, "When will the ball be hit?" By the way, that is rhetorical. <laughs> yeah, some of you were not around yesterday. Disney. Disney, like, mansplained where the child was in the hide-and-seek game, and then I started this thing where anytime I didn't want something answered, I had to say rhetorical at the end of it, and then clarinet guy started using it against me. Y'all are just here to make my life a living hell, I swear. Breath of the Wild Golf, yeah. What happens if you break your hammer on the balls? Then, then you no longer have a hammer. You're not supposed to slap your hammer that hard on someone's ball, David. Saberkite says, jokes aside, most people would have the regular wands. I didn't think they made Lucius. So the reason I have Lucius's wand is because I have the same wand as him, like the same core and same wood type and all that. Um, and you can't get one of the interactive ones with that exact same wand type. So I ordered it online. I still got it from Universal. I ordered it from them. But, uh, yeah, it's not an interactive one, so, like, I couldn't take it to Universal and actually, like, use it on the window shops or anything. Or the shop windows. Um, alright, ready? One, two, three, cut, one. No, it's so- it's so off-kilter! That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Dang it! Alright, I think it needs to be, like, four hits. So maybe I should just line it up like a regular human being. I'm really bad at this today. And every day, but let's just pretend it's only today that it's an issue. Ready? One, ooh, two, three, four. Should I do it one more time? <gasps> Maybe. Stay in the hole. Yes! <laughs> I did it! I put the ball in the hole. I'm so good at golfing. <laughs> I I think all I do is this, but Is this gonna stay? Do I have to stasis it or something? Here, do I have to be ready? Do I need to be ready? Oh god, I could have died. I could have died there though. So this is obviously like you're there, but there's this. Which is clearly indicating that there's a secret chest back here to be obtained. Oh, elevator. Oh no. Oh no, more golfing. I was gonna say, what is keeping me from cryonising this over to the other side? But I'll tell you what, it's... It's the, the fact that I can't get over to the other- well? No, I don't think I could get- I, if I could get into the water and onto an ice cube, then maybe, but... This is gonna be tricky, though. Ugh. How many hits do we think? Five, maybe? Oh, I'm never- I'm- I'm- I'm already- Okay, can I- can I just cancel it? <laughs> just- just cancel it. Oh god, I hate this. I- I don't even know if this one's gonna be worth my time. That's gonna hit that thing. Is that enough? Ah, oh, if I hit it, maybe just like one more time. Oh my god. You know what, though? That would have been, like, almost perfect, though. That would have been almost perfect. Like, that was, like, pretty much the right angle. I just have to, like, you know... Do it better. Do it another hit, maybe. 
Hit, hit me, baby, one more time. Ooh, is that good? Is that enough? One more. Ah! Oh, if I hadn't hit it one more time! Britney Spears lied to me. Disney says this, there is real golf elsewhere in this game. Oh, shush. I mean, she's right, though. Donde esta, says clarinet guy. It's three and a half hits, by the way. Not helpful. Disney says, I think if Vinny wants to go there, I can mention where real golf is. Like, a repeatable golf game in this game? Clarinet guy says, cool me gusta. David says, your old nemesis, a waist high fence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay, this thing is gonna break, and then I'm gonna run out of time to hit this, but hey, let's try. Yep, as I suspected. Okay, we're using this then. Uh oh. Oh no! Okay, that's enough. That was not enough. Dang it. Can you even do this with one-handed weapons? I think you can, but you have to, like, probably hit it more. Ugh! Okay. Maybe if I, like, line myself up first. I just feel like that stupid pole is in the way. That should, you know what? That might be good. Dang! <laughs> I hit it so many times! This Lionel sword is kind of failing me a little bit, I gotta say. This is probably not even worth- Like, whatever- I guarantee you whatever is in this chest is not worth me wasting the time. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is not even lined up properly. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Wow, the jankiest, the jankiest one ended up being the best one. Oh, I just saw the other chest. They totally gave me another sledgehammer, didn't they? Okay, okay, you know what? It's, it was worth, it was worth it. Sure, okay, fine. You win, game. You win. That was actually worth it. And oh my god, this sledgehammer has plus 15 attack up. That's like a beefy sledgehammer. Sl Wait, am I have I been saying sledgehammer this entire time? I meant to say sledgehammer. Sledgehammers are not real things. Sledgehammers are not real, they can't hurt you. Clarinet guy says Link's vertical be like five feet. Like Link is five feet tall. I don't, I don't know what you're... What is a vertical? <laughs> Disney says Lionel weapons coming in clutch. David says I I was really hoping this secret chest had a slightly nicer sledgehammer in it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Can't spell Lionel without L. No, because then it would just be Lionel. Five inches and in how high you can jump. Oh, because the fence. Yeah, that fence, man. Really keeping me from cheesing the puzzle, huh? Nintendo was like, oh, we know that these these cheaters are going to totally cheat this shrine. How can we stop them? Oh, I have an idea. Let's add a fence. Let's, it doesn't even need to be very tall, just like slightly tall. You know, if you could Revali scale inside of shrines, you could probably cheese like almost any shrine in this game, but you just can't. I know that there's a trick with bombs, okay? I'm very much well aware that it exists, but... I sort of con I consider it an exploit, and also I just don't even know how to do it, so... It also, like, I've seen people do it, but it seems kind of way too fancy for me. Like, it's... It's like, it's like pinky out fancy for me. Like, I just don't think I could accomplish it. Can't spell gar... gar... garblamanos without A. So technically you spelled your own made-up word incorrectly, sir. It is garblamanos, not garbamanos. Why do you keep changing the word? Every time you say it, it's different. <laughs> I'm starting to think that this is not a real word that you made up. <laughs> I'm starting to think 
Oh, it's both ways? Oh, what a convenient answer for you. What a convenient answer for you, though. How convenient that it can just be whatever you want it to be. Would you like it to dress in sexy lingerie? It will do that. Would you like it to... I don't know. Dress like a punk emo? It will, it will be that for you. Would you like it to dress in like a maid's outfit? Like via, you know, Tora from Xenoblade 3? It will do that for you, Master Pawn. One, two, three, four, jump. Slide. One. Okay, I'm not I'm not doing this this way. This keys is gonna bother me. <laughs> Let me leave this infernal place. Oh god, I didn't even real Oh, it's really high up. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> they mean two different things. Garblominos is how fast things can be going or how smart you are. <laughs> and gar garbominos is anything else. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, by the way, I did make the word. Oh, we're aware. Oh, we are aware that you create words. And then you arbitrarily change the rules to to make it convenient for you. I don't know if I believe that there's a shrine over here. I mean, I have clearly marked this on my map. And the book told me so, but... I don't know. Shrine sensory beeping yet. Why is the shrine sensor not beeping? Is it broken? Hmm. 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 I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't see anything. Oh! You know, I remember this, and yet I don't remember this. Am I just supposed to hit this? this? There's a shield. Emblazon shield! The shield features a traditional design from Nekluda. Its combat capabilities aren't much better than the standard wooden shield, but it found popularity for its design, so it's pretty. It's pretty. Tell me your secrets! Why do you only have glowy eyes? You know, once upon a not, uh, once upon a time, I used to know how to do this shrine. Do I shoot it? You shoot it with arrows. Really? That's all you do? Why didn't bombs and stuff work? <laughs> Disney says, "Is this a shrine quest?" Probably. And usually, the shrines that you have to like raise from underneath the earth are all considered shrine quests. But you don't have to start the quest to do them. We have a wordsmith in chat, says Disney. Oh, Disney, I love that you're tossing out the word wordsmith. First of all, you've been hanging around with me way too long. And second of all, you clearly were around when we played Horizon Forbidden West. Because there is an actual wordsmith who calls himself a wordsmith in that game. As I'm sure you're very well aware. Like, she, he, garblamanos. <laughs> and then Disney says, she... He, she, we, wumbo. <laughs> I, wumbo. You, wumbo. He, she, we, wumbos. <laughs> Actually, isn't it mumbo? I thought, is it mumbo or wumbo? I don't know. Wasn't there something that he was like, you have it set to wumbo instead of mumbo or I don't know, something like that? And then he like turns it upside down and then it works again or I, I, I don't know. 
my brain is sometimes just like a muddy, soupy mess of information that all gets kind of like blended together deliciously. I remember this shrine. Oh, this is a this is an involved one. This is an involved one. It's kind of cool though, from what I remember. Or that waffle is extremely garbominos. And oh man of extremely wisdom. <laughs> extremely wisdom. Okay, so this is a shrine where Vinny can die. Ooh! Wait! Wait for me! Hey, ball. Uh, wait! <laughs> Stop! Stop moving! I command you. Me? Oh, yeah! Who gets the secret chest right away? That's very disappointing. You know, I'm not really a fan of the ones that just have, like, bad loot in them. I would prefer if they were, like, actually good loot game. That would be nice. I'm gonna try to- I'm gonna tr Oh! Oh, Link, can you do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at me! Oh, look at me using this secret chest platform to, to do the thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm about to run out of space, though. Oh, no. Oh, no, Link. It's the- it's like the Titanic! Quick! Everybody jump off! Uh-oh. Wait! Um... Ah! Wait! <laughs> Another secret chest. There's two. This one wasn't very secret, though. I did see this one on the way in. So, you know, how secret can it really be? What am I trying to actually accomplish here, though? What am I trying to actually accomplish? <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like a divine beast a little bit. Oh no, this ball. Don't be cool, ball. Be cool. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, maybe I... Here, maybe... Maybe I stop this when this kind of straightens out a bit. Is that enough? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh god, can I make this jump? <laughs> the sounds that come out of my mouth sometimes, I swear. Alright, I think I can do this without getting my body crushed in the cog. I think I can. Therefore, I am- Oh no! Ooh, that could have been really scary for Link. Oh, I could have made that. You know, I could have made that. I don't even need to stop it, you know, I'm... I'm the Breath of the Wild pro, I don't even need to stop the platform. I'm just gonna run up the section as it- as it passes through. Are you guys ready for this, like, amazing, like, Twitch replay that's about to happen? It's- it's gonna take a while, though, it's kinda slow, actually. It's part of the reason why I'm gonna be able to do this quick! Oh yeah, I'm such a pro. Look at me! Everyone, look at me! <laughs> It's like literally, that's like literally the purpose of me doing YouTube is just like, Hey everybody, stare at me for four hours. It's kind of narcissistic if you think about it that way. Disney says, excuse me, I read a lot, but also Wordsmith is literally his name. Stemmer Wordsmith. Oh God, that's his actual last name. That's not his last name. He made that up. He, t no. Well, I want to know what his real last name is. I think we need to get to the bottom of this mystery. And by the way, I see we hit 10, 10 likes. Thank you, friends. I said I wanted to hit it, like, relatively soon, and we did, and you guys are amazing. God, we're only an hour and 15 minutes in, and I think we've done, like, five shrines or something like that. In fact, maybe we've done more. Um, oh, this one can be marked no longer. Oh, I should have just done this one while I was over at the the other one. But here, let's go from the tower. It should be easier to glide down to this. And Disney says I looked up his name. Look, I I believe that in the game he says his last name is Wordsmith, but that ain't his last. Actually, to be fair, 
a little, well, I don't know how much of a history lesson this is, but I do know that traditionally last names used to be a way to tell people what your profession was, which is sort of why the last name Smith exists that, to this day. Um, it, I don't know. That's what I've been told. Maybe it was a lie and maybe I'm just regurgitating false information, but I think last names used to indicate like either your your profession or like what your um, status was in like society. So that's why like there's, you know, people with the last name Smith and I don't know. Are there people with the last name like Chip and they used to be like wood chippers or something? I don't know. David says, this makes me want to go do some talked shrines. Might have to go do that now. Or maybe just start up the Korok space program. Wow. David is a Korok murderer. Look, when we go to play talked, am I going to launch Koroks into space? Debatable. Debatable. But... Oh my god, is that another sh Wait, I see a shrine! Okay. Don't get, don't, don't get distracted. We're talking about, about murdering Koroks right now. Um, look, I may or may not do it. We'll, we'll see when we get there. If the Koroks make me angry or instigate me in any way, shape, or form, I'm launching them off into space. If the Koroks are cool, though, and they mostly just help me, then they will live to see another day. I will not... Do a spit roast, though, with, with Koroks, okay? I've seen people make machines that literally spin Koroks around on a little thingy and cook them over a fire. Okay, I've seen it. It's it's horrible. You should not look it up. It's it's actually quite horrendous and poor Koroks, but, like, it, it is a thing that exists. Choo-choo! Go away! <laughs> Trying to, like, do shrines and, like, be good at this game. You're just interrupting that. God! Enemies! Why are there enemies in this game? It's like, it's like they don't want me to be here or something. No! <laughs> Why are there 10 million of you? Oh god, there's more! Back, you demons! Back, I say! <laughs> okay, I need to take a picture. Oh no, not a picture. What am I even doing? I need to ping. I need to do this. I love how that shrine is also just out in the open for the entire world to see. Oh god. There's a bunch of ore down here and the corpses of a thousand dead keys. Clarinet guy says, I am an arsonist. I love the Koroks who live in the forest, though. The wild ones are just the ones I really want to kill. Murderer. Murderer. Poor, poor Korok. Your last name also indicates who your dad is in a lot of places. <laughs> ha ha, David. Ha ha. Yes. Ha ha. I I under yes. It, nowadays, nowadays, right? I don't know. You're not. I mean, I'm talking about like the o the like origin of last names. Like I think they all used to just like the purpose used to be like your family profession. You no. Know? Like, and typically, if you were a blacksmith, your son was also a blacksmith, and his son was also a blacksmith, so, like, that's... I don't know. I, look, I, I, I'm not gonna pretend like I've looked up a whole lot about it. That's just what I heard, okay? Don't shoot the probably very incorrect messenger. Namika Oz Shrine. I detest building stuff so much, I normally just pick up the Korok and walk him to where he wants to go. Oh, dang. Can't you ultra hand them? You can ultra hand the Korok, can't you? I'm unplugging my... I'm unplugging my, uh, controller, because I need to not have a million cords on my lap, and I need to shift around. My leg is starting to get tired and sweaty. My leg is so sweaty right now, my god. Oh god, it's another test of strength! So many of these. You know, I kind of wish that there were less of these, honestly. There's, I think there's just like, there's a bit too many of them. There's a bit too many. Uh, I don't need to go crazy again, but let's at least put on our ancient gear. Like, I I would like to just, this is a modest one, but I, I would still like it to, to end pretty quickly if that's cool with y'all. 
Disney said that's what I meant by picking him up. Oh, okay, I see. That is a crime in my country? What, picking up Koroks? With the Ultra Hand? Uh, stop! In the name of love! And die. Uh-oh. Oh no, he got away. Whatever shall I do? Whatever, whatever shall I do? Wait, that didn't freeze you? Oh no! Uh-oh. Stop! <laughs> Alright, this should kill him. Look, if you're not dead after all that, then I don't even know. You can't actually use your hands to pick up a Korok? Oh, okay. What should I throw out? Anything? I don't know, should I just get rid of it? It's just sitting in my inventory pulsating, and like, when are we gonna find another Talus? You know, I could get rid of the Sledgehammer. I should be using the Sledgehammer! You know what, I, I'm, I literally keep just using my, my ice arrows. Should I just get rid of the Blizzard Rod? I mean, I don't need this sword that's on the ground, but like, it's... Technically better. You know what? Let's just... Here. Goodbye, Blizzard Rod. Sorry. I know you're a good one, but... Like, I'm pretty sure this is more worth it, no? Oh yeah, 45 damage? Yeah, that's more worth it. I'm, I'm reading kind of... Oh god, another Frost Spear. I'm kind of reading backwards in chat, and earlier Clarinet Guy says Ezio of Montegarini. What does that mean? Who is that? Is that a reference to something? <laughs> Why is it so silent? Because I was reading your... I was reading that. Ezio of Monte, Mo, Montegarini. I don't even know what that is. That's got to be a reference to something. Okay, we have seven spirit orbs. Did we start with zero? I think we did. So that means we've done seven shrines already today. We are just a blazing. We are blazing through these. We have we have nine more shrines left. Wow. Oh, it's an Assassin's Creed reference. You know, I've never played or even really watched anyone play Assassin's Creed, but I I know what kind of games they are, and I know that I would love them if I played them. It's just one of those things where, like, I haven't gotten around to it. You know, there's so many games out there to play these days that, like, it's hard. <laughs> Look, I'm just busy playing Breath of the Wild for the fourth time through, okay? Lots of important <laughs> games to play. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just busy playing through Breath of the Wild for the 17th time. Pronounced Ezio- Ezio of Mon- Montergini? Did I say that right? David says- David says Assassin's Creed 2 is very good, the one that character is from. Oh. It kind of- I don't know why, but that name sort of evokes that, uh... My name is... Oh god, what? What is it? Oh, isn't it- is it from the Princess Bride? My name is something something and... Oh god, I can't even remember. I can't even remember it. Bill Bill would be so ashamed if he heard me trying to remember this and forgetting it. My 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 name is something Mon Montoya something something and you killed my father, prepare to die. Somebody know what I'm talking about? Disney has to know. Disney knows everything. I don't know. I was trying, like, but, but that, that name sort of reference like it, it uh evokes that Rivali's same feeling is now ready. Ooh, Rivali. I indigo indigo montoya is that or is it inigo is it inigo montoya either way yeah it that's that's the one that i'm that i'm thinking of god this shrine is so far away but honestly i didn't like there wasn't really a quicker way to get over here this is pretty much the best way to do this unfortunately you know, I haven't really been looking super hard, but I haven't found a lot of Koroks, actually, today, which is surprising. We've been all over the map in places we haven't really... Ooh, a chest. Hi. <laughs> Look at them all being surprised by me stealing from them. See you later! <laughs> 
Oh man, I just literally walked right up and stole from them and then ran away. That was incredible. See you later, suckers! Gary was here, Ash is a loser! <laughs> Smell you later! <laughs> Max Versta Verstapen? These are not real names. One, two, three, four, jump. If you wonder why I count when I do that, it's because Disney taught me a trick about, like, how to climb in the rain and, like, actually make progress rather than just spamming the X button like I used to do. I bet- you know what? I bet you there's a Korok up there. Here. Let's put Disney's little thing to the test, shall we? We're gonna use a Charge of Revali's Gale, because I ain't no fool, but... We're gonna have to do a little bit of climbing. Oh, maybe not so much, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. Slide. One, two, three, four, you know, I'm just gonna jump. Yeah. Oh no! Moments before disaster! I mean, all of that for an opal? Are you serious? Okay, go away, Bo. Are we good? Right, I think we're good. Honestly, I'm shocked that there- Wait, there's a memory over here, isn't there? I think there's a memory in those woods. I... Oh yeah, because there's Pekongo. Oh man, we're gonna do another memory? Oh my god, we're just- we're getting so much done today. See what happens when I actually, like, put my mind, like, to doing something? <laughs> Instead of just sitting around here like a fool for four hours, like I usually do. Racer, says clarinet guy. Inigo Montoya, to be more accurate. It said in Inigo. Inigo Montoya. Oh god, wait, what is this? Oh, I thought- oh, I thought this was gonna be a just walk up and go in and- get the thing from the monk, but they surprised me. It looked like it was gonna be, but there's actually more to do. But wait, there's more? I love when there's more. Well, sometimes. Yep. We don't really get opportunities to use the Cryonis rune a lot. Just maybe for the best, but it's kind of nice when we get to use it. Haha, uh -huh, I shot you first. Is there gonna be anything actually of use in this chest? Or is it gonna be a load of crap like it usually is? Maybe I just need to complain. Maybe that's all I need to do. Maybe I just need to complain. Every time I complain about chests having nothing in them, that's usually when the game is like, well, I'll show you. <laughs> Honestly, what is the lesson to be learned here today, kids? If you want something in life, just complain until you get it. I think that's a great lesson to be learned, actually. I think that I am... really teaching the youth of, of tomorrow, like... just how to... Oh! Wait! Hold on! Oh no! Cry... Cryonis! Save me! How do I get in there? Oh, it's one of these. Have I ever gotten this secret chest before? I don't remember this. Ever. I don't remember ever doing that for a secret chest. And I kind of wish I could forget, because that is a terrible, terrible reward. Hmm. How am I gonna do this without just blatantly dying? What if I just do- Oh no! Oh no! The currents! They're currently pulling me to my death! Goodbye. Do 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 do! <laughs> Clarinet guy... It says something- I'm assuming that's Russian. I don't even know what that- what language that is, clarinet guy. If you came into my live chat and that's all you said to me, like the first thing you said to me and all you ever said to me, I'd probably just... Like, cause I don't, like... People have come into my live chat and just spammed Russian before and usually they're bots. I don't know why so many of the bots are Russian. They're either Russian or they're sex bots. We haven't had a sex bot in a really long time. We should try to manifest one. You ready? I'm manifesting... I just, I just need... Look, I've had the itch to ban. I've had the itch to ban it. I summon you, sex bot. Here, wait, what do we do? We gotta like, 
We gotta like chant something three times in a row. What what word could we chant three times in a row? <laughs> I don't know. Minimum wage, minimum wage, minimum wage. I don't know. How much do porn stars make? I don't even know. Ooh, beetle! I need arrows, actually, beetle. I know that we're in the middle of a horrendous thunderstorm right now, but let's just stand out in the middle of it. And you can sell me things. No, beetle! Beetle, you're not getting my energetic rhino, rhino beetle. No. No. No, beetle! Stop! No! No, beetle! <laughs> Dang it, I hate when he tries to guilt me into giving away my beetles. I don't even really need them, it's just the principle of the wow. thing. David says, oh, he put he put an eggplant and some eyeballs looking at the eggplant. He said, there you go. Oh, no, David's going to summon it. That would probably summon one. Last time I said the word sextant, that summoned one. Wow. Hot footed frogs. Do we actually need any of these? I think we may need some butterflies and they're really cheap. In fact, I'll just buy... I'll buy all of the butterflies and all of the hot-footed frogs. We don't need the tireless ones, though. Wow! But honestly, I don't think I need either of wow. these. I think we're good. Thanks, Beetle! <laughs> we'll go check out the, sh the stables, see who's in here. See what kind of s Cass! I do not want to talk to you, Cass. You're just gonna give me your same spiel that you always do. Oi! Ugh! Where's the sun? And the girls. Oh no, oh no. Really? Another guy? Oh no, sir. The only people I can meet here at this stable are men. You seem grumpy. Take a look to the east. It's always covered in clouds, right? Rain and stuff really sours my mood. Good thing Sadie's here to cheer me up. Oh no. Sadie? Well, I owe him- Okay, it's a guy. I owe him my life. It's a pretty long story. You sure you want to hear it? No, I really don't want to hear it, but sure. Ooh. All right, here goes. Have you heard that rumor about the strange mountain on which a bunch of animals appeared a certain time? Yeah, it's Satori Mountain. We've already been there, done that. Well, I heard... Well, when I heard that, I went there to do some hunting. I thought it sounded like a good opportunity to turn a profit selling the meat and whatnot. Oh my god, you're such an asshole! <laughs> he wants to go to, like, Satori Mountain and murder all the bloopies for meat. And then... So I go to the mountain and wait for the animals to show up. When suddenly this dirty little pup appears out of nowhere. I figure he's been separated from his parents or abandoned by his last owner. He starts begging for food, so I give him some jerky and he runs off over a hill. And then... Later on, I doze off for a little while. When I come to, there's a big glowing beast standing right in front of me. Yeah, a bloopy. Or, or maybe the lord of the mountain. It caught me completely off guard. I couldn't even draw my bow. I just stared at it. And then the beast runs at me like it wants to trample me. Suddenly, the pup I gave food to jumps in between us. He starts barking at the beast, who was ten times his size. All to protect me, even though he was trembling with fear. And then, and then, and then the beast recoiled a bit. So I took the chance to snatch up the pup and flee down the mountain, tripping and falling all the way. And that's my story. Wow. It's a great story. You should write it down and tell it at parties. The strange mountain is called Satori Mountain. <gasps> Shock. Gasp. It's the west of central Hyrule. <laughs> I brought Sadie back here and we've been best buds ever since. Oh, so Sadie is a dog. If you're feeling brave, you should go find that glowing beast on the mountain and give him a stern talking to. Been there, done that. <laughs> Clarinet guy is now posting. Stop posting eggplants in my life chat. <laughs> I leave... I literally leave you alone for two seconds and you're all posting eggplants. Technically, I instigated this and said, hey, let's summon a sex bot, but... <laughs> David says, huh, the middle message got shadow hidden, doesn't show up on my phone. It's possible, I don't know, maybe you used a word that I've banned or something. Disney says, it's okay, guys, I don't think we want to bring someone in chat just to ban them. Well, we did temporarily, but now I think I agree with Disney. <laughs> What's the matter? My older brothers Isra and Yolero play all day long, but I have to stay here and give directions. Yeah. Chapter 4, Article 9 of the Stable Association Regulation states, 
Each stable must have personnel ready to give directions to visitors at all times. And somehow, I got stuck with this dumb job instead of playing like my brothers. I guess that's what I get for being the only person at Wetland Stable with a grasp on geography. Oh my god, this child is smart. Okay, let's get this over with. What do you want to know about the surrounding area? To the east? Zora's Domain. That's about it. Alright, next. <laughs> uh, west? Great question, Mr. Perceptive. Oh my god, he's roasting me. Hyrule Castle. This reminds me- have you guys seen that clip? I think it's- I think I read later on that it's actually a father and his son doing a bit, and he's actually a real weatherman, but, like, he had his son come on the show and do this bit with him, but it's- he- he walks up- he's, like, outside in some, like, deserty kind of, like, wasteland-looking towns, like, tumbleweeds and shit, and he walks over to this kid who's, like, hanging out on the side of a building, and he asks him a question, and the kid goes, Wouldn't you like to know, Mr. Weather Guy? Or, he, what does he say? I don't know, I think he calls him, like, Mr. Mr. Weather Guy or something. And he says it, like, super, super sassy and rude. And then the guy, like, repeats it, like, the insult, and he's like... He's like, where's that kid's father? Like, something... I don't know, it's, it's really funny. I'm not doing it any justice, because honestly, I can't remember exactly what they say, but it's super funny. And it reminds me of this kid. Ami's face, lol, I love this kid. So young, yet so jaded with life. I know, what happened to him? Who hurt him? There's a hidden escape route from the Hyrule Castle called East Passage. I hear it leads directly into the castle. It was made for the royal family though, so who knows if it's still usable. Alright, next. Uh, north? You know, Death Mountain and some other junk. Alright, next. I have to go. <laughs> you wanna know what's south of here? Sure. Me too, but I never get to leave this stable. If you really want to know, you should go ask at Riverside Stable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this child. Hi! Ha who? Are you some kind of some kind of wanderer? Something like that. I don't care who you are, just lend me an ear. Ah. I finally got it in my hands. The legendary weapon. You definitely don't have the legendary weapon. Amazing though, I'll say. Ha! Ah, prepare to be jealous! I'm sure you've heard of it. You know, the legendary weapon that only the chosen hero can wield. It's called... <laughs> the Master Torch! I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. Whatever, leave me be, commoner. I'm trying to practice here. You know, I came into this stable's... Hoping that I would find somebody who was actually useful, and instead I just found a bunch of just shite. Honestly, you're n you're kind of borderline creepy. You are look, you're adorable, but you're also no help at all. And you think that there's a legendary weapon called the Master Torch. You, however, Picongo. <laughs> hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. It, yeah, it's this one. So in my first playthrough of this game, this was the last memory that I found because it was so difficult to find this one. And I didn't at that time know that you could talk to Pekongo at the different stables to get him to do this. Um, so I think David, you might have been the person that told me about talking to Pekongo. And that's how I ended up finding it, but it took me a long time. That forest, I get the feeling I've seen it before. I can't say for certain, but I believe this may depict the forest just south of here. No. Wait, maybe it's the forest on the other side of the river, northeast of the bottomless swamp. Uh... I went for a stroll around there recently, and I feel like I may have seen a view like that. So he thinks it's actually on the other side of the river? Like, like over there, though? Why do I almost feel, like, is he right or is he wrong? I mean, they wouldn't just tell me that, you know, to, like, troll me, right? They hi they literally highlighted a word in color and bold. That usually means that that's what you need to pay attention to. It's like, hey, idiot, this is the answer. I 
I love the stables music, says Disney. Me too. It's so peaceful. Honestly, all the music in this game. Clarinet Geist is only two watching now? Yeah, it's... I... I... It's weird, because I've got at least three people in my live chat actually talking, but... It says two people for me as well, but it's cool. We, I mean, honestly, there's a little bit of an ebb and flow. There's a little bit of an ebb and flow, but it's okay. <gasps> there's a Korok here! He needs saving! Why couldn't... What is preventing me from just jumping over these right now? Hold up! Hold up! <laughs> okay, okay. Enough fooling around. <laughs> uh... You! Oh god, I can't see! Ooh. Wait, something just died on the spikes. What was that? What just died on those spikes? Oh, I did not even touch you with the rock. Quit complaining. Quit your complaining. God, there's a lot of goodies in this forest. NPCs like Ami make me want to have post-game changes where they can explore, have a life. Well, at least in the second game, they do, though. You know what? Like, all of the NPCs are back, and... Well, mo I should say most of the NPCs are back. I don't know if all of them are. But most of them are back, and they all have, like, progressed in their lives. You know? Like, they have new things going on. Uh, which is just kind of, like, really cool to see. Um, Saberkite says, Speaking of post-game, I've spoiled myself about certain Breath of the Wild NPCs when I looked them up and found out what happened to them and talked. Oh. Well, I guess we'll- I guess we'll get there soon enough. We're gonna be doing the game... I don't know. I don't know, we- we're not gonna be doing it next. Uh, I think we're probably gonna end up doing Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door next. And then we might actually do Horizon Forbidden West after that, and then Tears of the Kingdom, or we may do Tears of the Kingdom and then Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't really decided. Um, how many of you who are here currently would watch my other series? Like... Are, like, do you think if I switch to Paper Mario and or Horizon Forbidden West that you would still be interested in watching my content? I like to ask that occasionally because I'm just trying to, like, get an idea of, like, you know, like, I'm hope what I'm trying to do here on my channel is build uh, a community of people who, like, want to just hang around because they like me and not necessarily just because they like the game that I'm playing. Um... It's totally cool if that is the only reason you're here is because you like Breath of the Wild, but you know how it be. Is Wait, is this not really... Where is this memory at? A rhetorical question. <laughs> Isn't it in this forest? A rhetorical question. I mean, he said that it was, like, he thought that it was on the other side of the river, but, like... The the river is... is that way, so he think he thinks it's over there. You know what, let's go over there. If Pakongo thinks it's over there, then it's probably over there. Clarinet guy says it says only one now. You know what's weird? Mine actually says zero. Mine actually says... Somebody in live chat... Whoever is in live chat right now, just say- like, Saberkite literally just said something. Saberkite just said something, but my stream says that I have zero people in here. LIES! YouTube is... broken. Why is YouTube so broken right now? Clarinet guy says, I'm here. And Saberkite says, I'd love to see Paper Mario. I have no idea about Forbidden West, but I'll watch that too. Oh man. I would recommend- I mean, I don't know. Here, here's the thing. To re to fully really appreciate- I mean, you- you can watch and play Forbidden West without ever having seen or played the first game, but I feel like you'd appreciate the second game a lot more if you knew about the first game. But I have an entire series of it on my channel, of Zero- Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. And I would recommend going back and watching my, uh... I would recommend going back and watching my Zero Dawn. Um, it's not the best quality because it was technically the first full stream series that I did on the channel after coming back. Um, but it's still good. It's still a good one. Uh-oh. You know what? Die. Just die. Could you play Oot? Ocarina of Time is definitely on the list, clarinet guy. It's not gonna be for a while. In fact, 
as much as I hate to say this, it might be the last of the 3D Zeldas that we do, and that's partly by design. I sort of feel like it would be interesting if I almost did them in reverse order. Because technically Breath of the Wild was the first game I ever streamed on the channel, period. And Twilight Princess was the first series I ever did on the channel at all, ever. Um... So it's almost like we're not we're not really going in order with the Zeltas, but I still feel like maybe doing Ocarina of Time last would be interesting. Cause really, in the grand scheme of like modern day 3D Zeltas, Ocarina of Time is kinda where it started. Um And o Ocarina of Time's very good too. And who knows? Maybe by the time we actually get around to playing it, they'll have remade it. Like fully remade it. Can you imagine Ocarina of Time like fully remade with like modern day graphics? amazing um let's put on some rp clothes for this mem for this mem mm, i need the master sword and this stuff can go away i know this is this is very dumb that i do this every time we do memory but i just think i want link to look like you know link in this little cutscene part right here Disney says, making pasta, I'll be back in a few. Oh man, Disney makes her own pasta, that's so fancy. Mine says, one watching now. Yeah, so does mine, it's so weird. Cause I know you guys are here. I, I know you guys are here. I don't know, maybe try, I, this is kind of weird, but maybe try refreshing your streams. I don't know if that'll help or not. Y'all have a Make sure that you have the live button hit, too, because you might be slightly not live. That could be it, too. Oh, man, that shot right there, so iconic. I'll shut up. How did it come to this? The divine beasts, the guardians, they've all turned against us. It was... Calamity Ganon. It turned them all against us. And everyone, Mipha, Rebosa, Rivali, and Daruk, they're all trapped inside those things. It's all my fault. Our only hope for defeating Ganon is lost. All because I couldn't harness this cursed power. Everything, everything I've done up until now, it was all for nothing. So I really am just a failure. All my friends, the entire kingdom, my father most of all. I tried and I failed them all. I left them all to die. I love that cutscene so much. First of all, it's got two of the most iconic parts of the the Breath of the Wild E3 trailer that I love so much, which is their hands like separating. Like that's in the trailer and it's like it's at a part in the trailer where the music like shifts and it's like such an amazing moment, like gives me chills every time I see it. And then also her like famous line of everything I've done up until now, it is all for nothing. It's like also in that trailer and it's so good but also i love that i love that cutscene for several reasons first of all it's like it's a big moment for them where everything feels hopeless like everyone's trapped or dead and you know the world is turned against them and it really shows like the kind of heaviness of of what happened a hundred years ago but also I just can't help but stare at Link during that entire cutscene because he's got this look on his face when he's watching Zelda go through all of this. And it's like so intense and like, look, I'm just saying it's borderline kind of sexy the way he's looking at her. Like he's so just, oh, I love Link. <laughs> but yeah, that's like one of my favorite cutscenes. I got somebody new in chat says, I drink wine. Ah, I also indulge in wine sometimes. <laughs> 
girls are like that sometimes. That No, that's, that's a little bit sexist. Look, I cry about things all the time. I cry at happy things. I literally watch movies and like something good happens and I'm like, it's so, it's so good and I'm so happy for them. Like, so you know. Look, would you not be crying in that situation? What a terrible thing. All of your, like your father is dead. All of your friends are trapped and probably dead in divine beasts. Like, I don't, I don't think anybody would be able to go through that situation and, and come out the other side, not at least crying a little bit. Clarinet guy says, I'm going to go see you. Have a wonderful night, Clarinet guy. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow, friend. Thanks for coming in. Lexi says, I just use wine for cooking. Oh man, that's fancy cooking. Usually really cheap wine that would suck to drink. <laughs> I Drink Wine says, it's an Adele song. I never really drink wine, but it's fun to hear everyone say stuff about me drinking wine. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I've seen that one. Is that the one where she's floating down like a river of wine in like an inner tube? Is that the one? I what is that Adele song? Is that the is that the one I'm thinking of? If I think I think that's the one I'm thinking like that is the one I'm thinking of, right? That's a really good music video, whichever one wow. that is of like Adele floating down a river. I've watched that one. I, when it first came out, I think I watched it probably like three or four times in a row. It's such a good song. I remember, I haven't heard it in forever. I have not heard it in forever. I literally could not even hum the tune from it at this point, but I remember really enjoying it when I listened to it. I tend to, when I listen to like music and stuff, it tends to be like video game music. So, um, uh, while I do enjoy pop culture music and and other types of genres of music, I I tend to not be able to just like pull them out of my brain super easily. Check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, I agree. Anybody who's never seen that music video, like go go watch it. It's pretty good. Um, Lexi says, if I drink, I usually have mixed drinks or straight tequila. Oh man, I I am also a, an enjoyer of tequila. Tequila is my if I'm gonna have like a hard liquor and like really, you know, want to feel something, <laughs> then I'll typically go with tequila. Um, I love a good margarita. Uh, but I think overall, like some of my favorite drinks, in, like I, I do love wine, but I particularly love sangria. I really love like a super fruity sangria that has like, you know, actual berries in it, like blackberries and blueberries and strawberries and cherries and all that good stuff. Um, my husband makes a mean sangria, like literally the best sangria you've ever had in your life. Um, but I also like, uh, Midori and Amaretto sours are, are pretty good. Um, typically I'm not like, I'm not like a huge, like, I don't like anything that burns on the way down if I can avoid it, which is funny. Cause I know some people feel that way about tequila, but I find that tequila, if you have good tequila, it usually goes down pretty smooth. It's, but it's usually stuff like rum and like um, whiskey and those kinds of things that I'm just like, if it feels like my esophagus is burning as I am drinking this, then I probably don't need it in my body. <laughs> you know what I mean? I drink wine says, go husband, thumbs up. Yeah. Husband's high five. Yeah, he's really, I, I love when he makes sangria. He, he actually made some like a month or two ago and I just let it sit in the fridge forever because Though I do love a good sangria, I'm not like a, I'm not like a, I don't just drink. I'm like a social drinker. You know, if I'm out in an event or like with friends, I'll have a drink and it'll be fine and I'll enjoy myself. But I don't just like sit home and drink. You know what I mean? I'm just, I've never been that type of a person. So <laughs> he made some sangria a while back and it got basically wasted because I, I did not be, it got wasted because I did not get wasted. See, it's a little bit of a joke. White wine, I can't tolerate. I don't like white wines. I like, I, if I have to just drink straight wine, it should probably be like a pink, like a pink Zinfandel or something like that. I don't really like straight red and I don't really like straight white because I find that they can be a little bit too extreme on like the dryness scale sometimes. That's, I think that's why I like sangria so much is cause it's like, it's got the wine in there the wine does its job and it's got the wine flavor, but it's got like a lot of sweetness to it. Cause I think, I don't know, but I think you add sugar to sangria too, don't you? Isn't that a thing? And like uh, usually one, one or two other types of like alcohol. Like I think he also adds like a little bit of vodka. I don't know. Lexi says, I had some mulled wine in Paris. It was really nice. Oh, uh, 
Ice wine. Have you had ice wine before? Ice wine is a type of wine that they make from frozen grapes. Um, and when the grapes freeze, it actually crystallizes the sugars in the grapes and makes them sweeter. Um, and also because of the nature of freezing the grapes, it takes more of them to make the same amount of wine. So it tends to be like very potent, like very flavorful. Um, Disney, surprisingly enough, and I don't mean Disney as in Disney in our live chat, I mean the actual Disney company. If you go to Epcot in Florida, there's this restaurant there called Le Cellier, which is like a, it's like a French Canadian restaurant that's like in a basement, basically. Le Cellier basically translate to, translates to the cellar. And it is a, basically a steakhouse that also focuses on wine and they have like a wine flight and it's of ice wines. I actually have some, I, we bought like a case of the stuff cause it was so good, but they had like different flavors and one of them was like a, I think it was, there was like bee honey and there was like some other kind of fruit in there too, but it's like super sweet and super smooth, like very like, I don't know, just smooth feeling, but delicious. And you serve it cold obviously. And it's just like so amazing. Um, man, y'all are actually making me want to like crack one open. Maybe Bill, maybe, maybe when I go to make my PC this weekend, maybe I will drink some wine. Actually, is that smart? David, should I be, <laughs> should I be drinking while we're building a, a PC for the first time? Oh no. David says the number of wines I have just found out exist is much higher than expected. I know. I just mentioned like what, three different types? Pretty good stuff. How many shrines have we done? Why am I here? I'm here for a memory. Can I mark any more on the map? I feel like I feel like I was making a lot of headway in the shrine department, and then y'all got me talking about wines. <laughs> and then uh like I'm just very easily distracted. Like just start mentioning wine and I'm like, mm-hmm, yes. Uh so how I mean we've got like what, eight left? Nine left? How many did we do? How many, here, how many balls does Link have inside of him right now? He has eight balls inside of him. We did eight shrines today. We did eight shrines and we're not even at two hours. Okay, how about we do two more? Cause then we'll have six to do tomorrow and maybe we can finish them. Let's find two. Let's find two more. Okay, we'll do, actually, I don't know. We could do four, we could do as many as we want. There, you know what, the only rules that I have here are the rules that I make here on my channel. So like, if I wanna do more, I could do more. I'm just saying. Oh, there's one over here. There's one there. There is, ooh, there's one up here. Okay, we'll mark these two and we'll do them and we'll see how long they take. I don't know why I exited my map. Um. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this, actually? Maybe, should I go from here? Maybe going from Mount Lanayru? Mount Lanayru should be taller. I don't know if y'all know how to read, uh, multi-layered maps. Or what What would you even, they probably have an actual name, geographical. Like basically, the, the way that the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild map works is that the lighter in color the map gets, the taller or the higher that area of the map is. And the darker it gets, the lower it is. So, so like if you look on the map, like the, the peak of Mount Lanayru is like very, very light in color. And then all of this down here is very dark. And that indicates like the depth of the, you know, and also the little lines kind of indicate, you know, the depth. But uh, I should be able to glide down from here pretty easily. That's That's sort of all I'm really trying to say. Not everything has to become a lesson, Vinny. Your, your viewers are not, I don't know. Some of y'all, look, I've had, I literally have had a 10 year old on this channel before. I actually had to ban him, it was very sad. He was spoiling Subnautica for people. <laughs> but you know, like maybe there's some 10 year old kid watching me who's like, oh wow, I didn't know that that's actually how the map worked. And now they know, because Vinny taught them. Look, it's my instinct, it's like, I'm not ever going to be a father to a real human child, but I still have that instinct to like be a dad, you know, and like teach the younger generation how to not be idiots and also to like make dad jokes. 
topography. Oh yeah, maybe that's. Oh, so it's like a, a a topographical map. Map, probably, is the word that I was looking for. Saying not even at two hours at 118 minutes is cutting it close. Well, yeah, but that's not that's not that's not even two hours, David. That's that's. I mean, factually, not even two hours. <laughs> David says, I was that kid until talked. I noticed it there. Oh my god, really? David, you're like a sciencey guy, too. You're literally in charge of, like, coding computers and stuff and doing fancy things with electronics. How did you not know this? Oh, no! Oh, the music really worked out well there, didn't it? Oh, no, not this one. Oh, no, not this one. Okay. <laughs> so, this one sucks, Poopy Doop. I'm just gonna say it. Basic- well, it's really not- okay, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, but, but basically, there's a wind pattern here. You have to go from one side of this beach to the other by not touching the ground. You can only glide, and if you land on the shrine thing over there after making the entire trip, then the shrine unlocks. But you can't cheat it. You have to, like... You have to go the whole way. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Lexi says, I think 10-year-olds should not be on the internet generally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I probably, yeah, I agree with that. Well, I mean, they shouldn't be on my streams, pro probably. I don't know. Look, I know, like, if you are that age, you can be here, but you, your parents need to know that, like, I say some pretty bad words from time to time. And I make some pretty, well, we'll call it, uh, risque jokes. I don't know. Oh my god, first throw! I'm amazing! Yeah! Oh man, I keep forgetting to turn in my Korok seeds. Why do y'all keep letting me forget things? I'm not taking responsibility for this. This is my live chat's fault. Literally, you, you guys are supposed to be there to be like... My little alarm clocks, like, every, every, like, ten minutes or so, Disney is supposed to say, HYDRATION! But instead, she's off making pasta right now. So I have nobody to remind me to drink water. <laughs> I say water as though I've ever drank water in my entire life. What I really mean is Dr. Pepper. She's supposed to remind me every so often to drink Dr. Pepper. <laughs> or, like, sometimes tea. Sometimes tea. I I want all, all this one died from my bombs. I'm so sorry. Whatever, you're all gonna be cooked into soup anyway. This is actually a great place to come over, like to get fish and crabs and stuff. Is that it? Do you just really need to bomb that one? One? Oh no, there's something right here too. You know how I'm gonna do this though? I'm gonna I'm gonna cheese this one a little bit because I'm lazy. I don't know, maybe this is how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so does it connect now? I think that should be good. That goes through, and then... I don't know. Wait, what is that one over there? Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's quite a... F there's, there's, there's quite a bit going on here, actually. Okay. How does that help? Oh, because it's making the middle current stronger. Oh, so I probably just did it, right? It's probably strong enough now. I bet you it's strong enough now. I prob- Yeah, I probably don't even need to do the last one, but... I'm go- Am I gonna do it anyway? Heck yes, I- Oh, God! No, wait. Um... Okay. <laughs> can, can I- Can I try again? What? Are you serious right now? How did that not work? What? That's what I thought you said. How does that even help? That helps nobody. All right. Am I allowed to glide from here? Where do I have to glide from? Maybe just the middle. Let's just try this. 
I love how I just ignore Cass. He's like there to give me hints and stuff, and I just never, ever, ever talk to him. Yeah, that does work. Wow, that was incredibly easy, actually. I love how I was like, oh no, what a horrible shrine, whatever shall I do? And then it just ended up being really, really simple. There's a video on YouTube where this kid looked up the real life places that inspired the places in Breath of the Wild. What do you mean though? There's, this game has places that are inspired by, well, I mean, to be fair, it does really just kind of look like the real world, doesn't it? But I didn't know that because like all of these places are supposed to be references to previous Zelda games, but I didn't know that there were actually physical locations that were like designed to kind of resemble real places. Fun fact, though, since you mentioned that, Saber Kite, you, I think you really should watch Horizon Forbidden West when we play it. First of all, the game is gorgeous, and its I can't wait to play it on PC. It's going to look absolutely stunning on my brand new PC. Which, by the way, if anybody hasn't noticed, I have all of my PC components in the back, because we're building a PC this weekend, Saturday. Be there. I'm going to post a stream probably Friday night or Saturday morning. Um, gonna make a nice little thumbnail with me probably doing this or something in, in front of, like, the PC components. Uh, but we're gonna build a brand new PC with a 4090 and a, uh, 9 series, uh, what was it? 9750X or X3D, I think is the CPU that I got. Oh no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really good computer. Um, and we're gonna play Horizon Forbidden West on it in 4K. The stream is probably gonna be in 2K because streaming in 4K is... It sucks because YouTube actually does not let you have low latency on your live chat. So if I, I used to stream in 4K, this is a true thing. I used to stream in 4K, but my live chat would be like literally 45 seconds behind where I was. So I would say something and it would take you guys 45 seconds to hear it. Nowadays, I stream in 2K and it takes you guys roughly, roughly on a good day, like seven to 10 seconds, which is much better than 45. Disney says, hi, I'm back. We made rigatoni. And Lexi says, from scratch? I want to get into pasta making. I believe so. Oh, no. Disney says, nah. I just needed to cook it for my mom. She has a bad shoulder, so she can't pick up the pot to strain the pasta. And Lexi says, I can't build PCs. Lexi. Lexi, you can't build PCs. You can't make pasta. What can you do? Because <laughs> those are clearly... The only two things that pe human beings can do in life is just build PCs and make pasta. You know, it doesn't sound like a bad life to me. We need this, don't we? Wait, I think we actually need this. Should I get rid of this Lionel sword? I know it's sort of... You know what? Let's get rid of... <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I think we need this for our house. In fact, why don't we go drop our swords off at the house? Like, soon. Sooner rather than later. I don't know, maybe we do already have a flame blade. Oh shoot. Did we already get one? I think we did, but I'm gonna take this anyway just in case. Homemade pasta is so good, says David. Disney says we can keep talking about making pasta from scratch though, it does sound fun. Maybe I'll try that one day on a stream. <laughs> I'm the only trans woman who uses pre-built PCs. <laughs> Is that a requirement for being a trans woman? Is that you must build your own PCs? <laughs> Lexi says, I can make pasta. Oh! Oh, I thought you said you couldn't. Oh. That's about it, though. I'm good at making play on word jokes. So, so you're good at dad jokes? That's, that's a good quality to have. Wait, why do I have 10 spirit or- why does Link have 10 balls inside of him? Did I do both of the sh no, I marked two shrines. I'm like losing track now. I don't know, let's keep going. Let's just keep going, there's more. There's more to be found. Boy. <laughs> Lexi has many talents. Lexi has many talents. Lexi can make pasta. Lexi can make dad joke. That's about it. <laughs> many, many talents though, Lexi. Many. So many. All the talents. 
Wait, where, where am I going right now? Isn't this over by... Here, I'm gonna go to... I don't wanna climb up that mountain. I don't wanna climb up that mountain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can go from this shrine. This seems faster. Bill is singing out there, but I don't know what he's singing. Also, apparently YouTube is starting to work again. Are, y are y'all's live chat concurrent view n viewer numbers going up now? Because mine are suddenly starting to go back up. It's just so weird, because like, I know that... Like, there was literally a point where it said zero people, and like, four people in my live chat were like, actively chatting with me. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not that. Please don't, please don't. Oh no, my bow. It's my bow. Oh no. No, 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 stop. <laughs> please, please stop. Cheryl says, Cheryl, wait, Cheryl's here. <laughs> I'm crawling out of the shadows to say hi. <laughs> hi, Cheryl. Hi. Oh, Bill's bringing me Dr. Pepper. Lexi says, I can eat hot chip B. Oh, I can eat hot chips, be bisexual, and twerk. Wow, that's... 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 That's a, that's a mix of talents. And let, Bill says you have to pick two out of three. Um... <laughs> because I was born after 1993. Disney says, we have some things in common, friend. I can eat hot chips and I'm pan. Cheryl says, I cannot eat cho hot chips, but I'm gay. <laughs> and ew, the default emotes, ew, ew, ew. I have to agree on that. Some of the deep, ow, some of the default emotes. No, don't go back in the hole. Oh God, I'm help, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm trying to get out of here and I don't know which way to go and it's raining and it's making it worse. Okay, ow, <laughs> I'm trying to leave. Um, Disney says all the gays, every color of the rainbow. We, is it, so here's a, here's a genuine question. Here's a genuine question. How many of you, like, how did y'all find me? Cause uh, about, I don't know, maybe like a year and a half ago, I started doing a, when I would, cause I leave tags. I leave tags on my, my like Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And about a year and a half ago, I started adding the LGBTQIA plus tag. Um, and I'm just curious to know if anybody found me because of that tag. You know what I mean? Or if it's just like randomly a bunch of gay people found me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like y'all just found me and you're like, hey, he's pretty gay. I kind of like him. Sure. Like. Or if you found me because of an actual logistical reason, like, you know, my, my tag on my, like, Twitter and stuff. Good night, sir in a robe. <laughs> the diet of the gays is predominantly spicy foods because we live on the edge. I can't have super spicy foods, though. Does that mean I'm a, does that mean I'm a fake? I'm a fake gay. Be gay, do crimes. No, not crimes. We are we are abiders of the law, Disney. Police, there's no need to get involved. Cheryl says, I found you almost two years ago, I think. Yeah, you came during uh, Stardew Valley, if I remember. You must have found me just because you love Stardew Valley. Oh, God, okay. Um, This is scary times. Why is it always raining here? It's always oh, wait, did it stop? Oh, it stopped. <laughs> See, what did I say earlier? Just complain. Just complain and and you shall ye shall receive. That's all you got to do, friends. All you got to do is complain. All right, I think that's about good. Let's eat some food. I know we don't have that much further to go up, but I'd rather just be safe rather than sorry. Oh, I I know what this shrine is. Isn't this the shrine where you have to bomb the side? There's like a, there's like a hole in the side of the mountain with like a bunch of bombable boulders and you have to like bomb them, but it's kind of difficult to do it. Isn't there like a wind or something? I think I'm right. I, th oh, there's also like, is that a, wait, is this a metal ball? Can I pick this up and smash the, 
Maybe I can do this. Hold on. Wait, is this a bigger one? Oh, but it's not metal. Okay, give me this then. Alright, where is this thing? Oh, is this just a Korok? What is this actually for? No, I think this is- I think this is for the shrine. Oh. Wait, but I marked, like, right over there, though. I don't know. Let's go down here. I- I just have this weird feeling. Oh no. Oh? Oh god, ew, it's making a scraping sound. Ew, do you guys hear that? Ew, I hate that sound. Ew, I really hate that sound. Alright, I think that there- is it- is it right here? Is that it down there? You know, if I could zoom out game, that would be kind of helpful. I mean, there's definitely a lot of wind in this place. There. Oh, it's not even here at all. Are you a good shrine or- oh, there it is, I see it. Does it say, are you a good shrine or are you a bad shrine? Why, I'm not a shrine at all. Yeah, so this- this was the- this is the one that I'm thinking about. And I think... I could just use bomb arrows for this. Why am I overthinking things again? God, I always overthink things. Just use bomb arrows. I was gonna, like, take a bomb and attach an octo balloon to it and have it float to the other side. No, just take some bomb arrows and just shoot some dang bomb arrows over there, Vinny. That's all you have to do. Uh-oh. Can I do this? Oh my god, that was an amazing shot! That was a really good shot. I almost got all of them. Wow. Oh my god, my live chat went off. Wow, friends. Hold on, let me get through some of this. Good night, Bill Sir, says Cheryl Stardew. Yum, Stardew, I know. Cheryl, have you been playing 1.6? I just finally got perfection. Gale is now ready. I just finally got perfection in my new run on my Meadowlands farm, and I have an entire coop full of... Um, I have an entire coop full of golden chickens that have animal crackers on them, and they make me, like... I don't know, like $130,000 a week. Or, I say dollars, but I mean gold. Lexi says, I mean, you know how I found you. Yeah, through Xenoblade, right? Xenoblade 2. For real, for real, it do be like that. I complain and then ta-da, it worked, says Cheryl. Lexi says, Xenoblade 2 and then you left YouTube for a bit. You say a bit, but really what you mean is five years. I left for five years, Lexi. And then you still came back. What a, honestly, like, I'm just shocked that you're still here. <laughs> I'm just shocked that you came back. I was wondering when you would come back, and then you did. Wow, you were you were wondering for five years. That's a long time. And we love that you found us, Saberkite. Oh yeah, because Saberkite says, I was watching Legend of Zelda playthroughs, didn't see the tags, just saw Zelda and I clicked. Nice! Cheryl says, a rock, pet rock. <laughs> New pet, yippee. Oh, the rock that I was scraping on the ground, ew. <laughs> oh god, it's another modest test of strength. Oh, you know how these are modest? I use this joke way too much, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. It's because they show a little bit of their ankle. Actually, th technically that's not being very modest at all. By like, old time standards. What am I- what am I doing here? Um... Ancient set. Do we want to use this weapon? Sure, we'll use the one we already have. Man, we've been real busy tonight, says Disney, I know. <gasps> Nemkev! Ah! <laughs> Nemkev, what are you doing? Oh my god, I thought you were gone forever! Hi, Nemkev. Nemkev is one of our... Let's call him an old subscriber. But I haven't seen you in literally, like, a long time, Nemkev. Like, a year. I mean, to be fair, we took, like, six months off, but... We've been streaming for a while again, and I haven't seen you yet, so I'm like... Oh my god, I'm so shocked! I'm Kev, it's so wonderful to see you, friend. How are you? How has it been? Saberkai says, I've never heard the rocks make a sound like that in game. I know, me either. Back! Back, you demons! No. Hold on, wait. Can we talk about this? Quick! Thrusts of a thousand soldiers! 
You know, that actually kind of worked. Why do you have so much health? Aren't you supposed to be modest? Where is your modesty, sir? Uh, sure, we'll use this one. Um, oh wait, I can- wait, you can cut their arms off? Wait, since when? I didn't know you could cut their arms off. I did not know that. How do you have so much health? This is supposed to be a modest test of strength. I'm happy to be here, says Saber Kai. I'm on a mobile, so I can't seem to tag. Oh. So you can't do- wait, you mean like tag people? You can't do like an at sign and then the person's name? What do I want to get rid of here? Uh, why do I want to keep this boulder breaker so much? You know what? I'm going to take a- No, we're just going to get rid of this. This is kind of a poopy sword. We'll take the- No! <laughs> get out of my inventory. We'll take the Ancient Battle Axe Plus. Lexi says, sorry, I'm still trying to get through chat. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm not missing stuff. Cheryl says, yes, I have been playing Stardew 1.6, but I'm also playing on Expanded, so yippee. Ah, I see. Go skibidi with it? Oh no, don't, not, not what the kids say these days, please. <laughs> oh man. Lexi says, yeah, I watched a lot of Xenoblade 2 Let's Plays to fill the void in my heart after I beat the game. Oh man. Lexi says, found yours, liked your commentary, subscribed. Ah, oh, yes, this is the way. This is the way. Vinny did the Kermit, yay. <laughs> I did kind of do that, didn't I? <laughs> Am I like a cartoon character, but like in human form? I think I might be. Hi, Nemkev. Welcome back, says Cheryl. Nemkev says, hello, Vinny. I miss you guys. Yeah, I lost track of you all after you went back to your project. How was it, by the way? Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I did a show called Title of Show last summer. Bill directed it, and it was a four-person play about two guys writing a musical, about two guys writing a musical. I actually have footage of it. I keep saying that I'm going to post... Actually, didn't I post a link to it on the Discord? I don't know. I'll post another link if y'all want to see it, but you can actually watch the show. Asterisk cannot actually watch the show police okay nothing illegal going on here we certainly didn't record the show but if you could watch it it might be available on the discord so if you want to see Vinny actually perform on a stage that may be a possibility um but no it, it went really well and then i took a couple at we went to japan and then i took a couple of extra months after that because i was just tired from everything and i had like no motivation to like live basically <laughs> I mean, not really, but like, I would, I just had no energy. Um, and then I ended up coming back like three or four months later. And, and we've been streaming ever since. Um, and it's been great. We finished uh, Baldur's Gate 3, which is now our longest series on the channel in terms of raw, like, video footage. It's like 46 parts of streams, which is a lot. <laughs> um, and now we're finishing up Breath of the Wild, finally, because we started this behemoth like a year ago and then stopped. Um, Disney says, you mean his play? That's the main reason he disappeared at first. True. And Saberkite says, nah, nothing pops up when I type at. Oh, that's weird. YouTube's doing lots of weird things lately. It all, like, literally, if you go put my YouTube video up on my husband's computer, on his Mac, you can't even like the video. And at first we were like, well, maybe they just have changed it so that you can't like the video until the stream starts. No can't like the video on his MacBook for some reason. Or not his MacBook, but his his Mac PC. I know it's not a PC, but you know what I mean. <laughs> on his Mac, period. End of sentence. Um, so I don't know. YouTube's doing weird stuff, so who, who even knows? Who even knows how things are supposed to work these days? You obviously did not post that link, but there is a Dropbox in Discord. <laughs> oh, there is one? Did you Did you do the search function or something? Nemkev says, I'm glad to hear you had some quality time. You deserve the best, my friend. Oh, you're amazing, Nemkev. I miss you so much. It's so wonderful to see you. Lexi says, how many Vinny disappearances have there been? Just really the two. <laughs> well, no, technically three. The first time I ever disappeared from the channel for a period of time was actually... Oh, man, I don't really want to talk about this. I'm a little bit ashamed. So I started Xenoblade 1 on the channel as a pre-recorded series. It was like really early on in the channel. 
I got to episode 10 and I stopped. <laughs> um, because I got LASIK surgery done and the LASIK surgery didn't go well. And I couldn't see out of my left eye at, for like two months. And then when I finally got better, I came back to the channel, but I was so like ashamed that I had left for so long that I just didn't finish the series. So literally you can watch the first 10 episodes of that game and then there's nothing more. I then, you know what's also really weird and ironic and kind of spooky, like hashtag too spooky for me. Um, when I stopped doing Breath of the Wild to go do um, the show, we ended on part 10. <laughs> Um, and then when I, there, oh, there was the other time when I stopped in BG3. There was like a three month break that I took with BG3 and guess which episode I stopped on there, part 10. So I came back to the channel and I was like, I'm not the YouTuber that stops doing content after part 10. This will not be my legacy. So I started BG3 back up and we finished that. And now I've started Zelda Breath of the Wild back up and we're going to finish that as well. Um, look at it. I mean, honestly, look at how much progress we've made. How many balls does Link have inside of him right now? Hmm? Link? Link, how do I, how do I look at your balls? Ah, he has 10 balls. Oh, that is how many I said we were going to do, right? Two hours. You know what? We could do two more. If we do two more, doesn't that mean that we only have like four shrines to do tomorrow? Should I save the six? You know what? We need to also do Terrytown. Let's go do Terrytown. Let's do that. Uh, I think we need to go to Rito Village for that one. What's the best way to do this? Should we go down from the Divine Beast? YouTube is being kind of weird. It's wild. Yeah, really. Memkev says, for some reason, I cannot find your Discord. I haven't been using Discord for some time, so I'm confused. Moderators, you know what to do, moderators. You know what your task is. I don't even, I shouldn't have to even say it. I'm sending out psychic telekinetic, like, I don't know. I was trying to find, I was trying to think of something funny, like call collect. I don't know. Is that even a thing anymore? I'm sending out waves of, of energy your way. You know what you must do live chat, or not live chat, moderators. <laughs> what are words? How do I say things? Whee! <laughs> Ooh, I cut that one close. Let me cut that one a bit close. Wait, why am I here? Oh, I remember. Also, Link, you look ridiculous. Can you, like, change into some real clothes? Yeah. And thank you, Lexi. Lexi wins! Lexi got the first one. Link, how do I look at your balls? Mm -hmm. oh. That is a thing I have now said and is now permanently on YouTube. David says YouTube as a whole is just kind of broken in Firefox for me lately. Just gets stuck pausing a lot. Man, I haven't used Firefox in a really... Oh, I should be reading! Uh oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm a bad YouTuber. Uh, my mom said she wants me to take over the family store someday. Can you believe that? I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Mm. But I don't want to compete with mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. Heard of Terrytown? Oh. Terrytown? Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. Like, did she have a car? Oh, so they're in need of a general store. That's perfect. But the Akala region? That's pretty far out there. True. But you can fly, sir. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday. And to have my own store... <laughs> okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going. I know. I'll gather some items on the way to Terrytown and then sell them at my new shop. Mm. Thanks for the tip. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new home sometime. I love that little jingle that they play. Ten, ten balls. Oh my, I missed your jokes, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really changed a whole lot. I feel like I've gotten a little bit more natural at this whole streaming thing. It's really interesting. If you go back and watch my old stuff and then you watch my new stuff, it is, there's a bit of a difference. But trust me. Trust me. My humor is roughly still exactly the same. <laughs> 
We have not grown or learned anything here on this channel in the last year, Nemkev, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Hey chat, post a Discord link. No, I, look, I meant to say, I meant to say moderators. I meant to say moderators. I almost had it, but I took too long, says Disney. Oh yeah, Lexi beat ya. Lexi got all of y'all. So, Nemkev, I'm sure you see it. You know what it is. But this also goes for anybody else who's watching right now. Um, there's a link to the Discord server in in live chat. Um, man, I got... Da, okay, first of all. First of all, friends. Doesn't it just feel super cozy in here right now? Like, this... Like... Seven years ago when I started this channel, this is what I wanted. Like, I don't necessarily... Like, yes, I want the channel to grow, obviously, but this is the kind of, like, cozy community feeling that I have really been striving to get. Like, there's lots of you in here. You're all getting along with each other. We're having a lot of fun. Joking around. Playing a video game we all love. Like, this is exactly the kind of thing that I, like, dreamed of, like, seven years ago. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that, because honestly, I'm getting, like, weirdly emotional. Let's just go to Terrytown and, like, look at Ikea houses. How about that? Terrytown can't make me cry. There's nothing about Terrytown that will make me cry. Hey, Hudson! Oh. Hey. You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here? Thank you. He wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently it's his... Apparently his family runs one too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things that he's picked up while flying around. You really should go check out the store. Mm. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So before we can call more people here, we need even more homes for them. Can you- Oh no, I don't have- Oh no, Link doesn't have enough wood. <laughs> he needs 50 bundles of wood. If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Oh no, we gotta be chopping down wood. Oh no, Link needs to get some wood. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Maybe it's natural, maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> oh man. So Fison is the one that sells the arrows. I actually think his arrows are like a fairly good deal, are they not? How much is this? 10 arrows for, what is it? It's 35? Yeah, that's only like 3.5 rupees per arrow. No? I think that's a good deal. How much does he sell bomb arrows for? 35 each? I mean, I don't really need these, but it's nice to know that they're there. In fact, what is my arrow stock looking like? So, we've got 22 bomb arrows. I would say that that's sufficient. We now have 83 regular arrows, which is beautiful to see. We're surprisingly now getting low on shock arrows, because we haven't killed Lynels in a while. We could buy- you know, we could buy some more fire arrows. Because at this point, this is basically all I have money- like, I don't have rupees to really spend anything on at the moment. Um, but you'll notice that each time we do a, like a leg of this quest, new buildings pop up. I'm not honestly at this point sure which ones are new and which ones were already here. I think this one's new. And I think new NPCs other than, like, yeah, see, like, these people are here. And honestly, I don't, I don't think I've ever been able to figure out what this is about. I think, like, her kid is, like, borderline sick or something, isn't he? Good evening. Do you need something from me? What's the matter? Our daughter has been in poor health lately, yeah. Our husband believed that moving here could help, so he bought a house. <laughs> I do like it here. The air is clean. There aren't too many people. Despite my husband's determination, I wasn't sure if a move was a good idea, but our daughter is slowly improving. Uh... The only thing left for her... Appetite. The only thing is left for her appetite to return. I'm sure she'd get well faster if she ate more. How do I get her to eat more? Should I just like shove an apple down her throat? Hoo, hoo. Why does she sound like an owl in her sleep? So yeah, other NPCs will move in and I don't know, there may be some other side quests involved with them. Like there might be a side quest involved with that one, but it didn't, you'll notice it didn't actually pop up a side quest, so... I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, so this is, I think, third playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Have you done Tears of the Kingdom? So the deal with Tears of the Kingdom is I have played through... I don't even know. Let's say 50% of the game. 
because I've done about maybe a little bit less than half of the shrines. I've done four sages. I have not done the fifth sage. I have not beaten Ganondorf, and I, there's a lot of shrines I haven't done. So basically, I started playing it, and I started feeling bad about playing it because I really did want to play it on the channel. But it was like in that period of time where I just like wasn't. Remember how I took off, like, how how long did I take off, friends? Wait, was that at- oh, was that during the six- I don't know. I took off an extended period of time, and I wasn't here, and I felt bad, but I was playing the game anyway. So I stopped, I haven't finished it, I haven't had it spoiled for me, and we're gonna be playing it- I think the order of the games that we're gonna be doing, Nemkev, going forward, is this game, and then we're gonna probably do Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on the Switch, the remake, we're gonna do that next. And then I think we're gonna... I'm building a new PC, Nemkev, do you see? My parts are arriving slowly. I'm only missing my GPU and my tower, the chassis, and I have everything else, pretty much. Oh, my motherboard! It should have come in. I want... Did my motherboard come in? Hold on. Hold that thought, friends. I need to make sure that there's not, like, a box sitting outside with my motherboard in it. I'll be right back. Nope. No motherboard. I don't see one. Bell didn't bring one in, in the middle of stream, so... I don't know what that's about, b &H, but my motherboard was supposed to arrive today before 8.45 and I see no motherboard. Um, but I'm building a PC. We're actually gonna stream it on Saturday, so if you want to catch me building a, a new PC... I've never built a PC, ever, but my friend David, who is in chat right now, is gonna help me. Um, and, and I'm gonna stream it, and it should be ridiculous, because I've never built one before. Um, but it's gonna be really good, it's gonna be a great PC, it's gonna have a 4090 in it, and a 9750X 3D, is that what it's called? <laughs> Ryzen? Uh, CPU. It's gonna have a crap ton of RAM, it's gonna have three, <laughs> I'm gonna have like three SSDs that are four terabytes in it as the main SSD in storage. Uh, what else are we putting in it? I mean, that's about it. Obviously, you can see my power supply is, like, way overkill, too. It's, like, 1,500-watt power supply. <laughs> but it's gonna be a great PC. Um, and it's gonna be beautiful, too. You guys should see the components that we picked out. The case is, like, basically mostly glass, so it's... You're gonna be able to see everything in it. It's gonna be beautiful. Um, but yeah, we're, we're building that on Saturday. And, and the reason I'm mentioning this is because the game that we're going to play probably after Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is going to be Horizon. We may do them in reverse order. I haven't decided. I may build this PC and be so, like, having the itch to play on the PC that I may do Horizon next. But we haven't gotten there yet. We still have to finish Breath of the Wild. But after that, though, we will do Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah. Disney, so Lexi says Talks coming up next. Well, not quite next, but soon, TM. And Disney says Talked is on the docket, but I think Paper Mario might, oh, so this is, this is you guys just like talking of like, what am I trying to say? Like theory crafting, what's coming next? Uh, Nemkev says, nice, that's great news. David says, was like Forbidden West, Paper Mario and Tears of the Kingdom in the list for now. <laughs> so it's you guys like theorizing what I would basically just said, okay. Nemkev says, oh, Baldur's Gate, interesting. I need to watch that playthrough. You should. And it's like far and away the most adult humor playthrough that we've ever done on the channel. I think that Disney, I don't I don't know if I've ever said the, the word, look, I'm just going to say it. I don't know if I've ever said the word fuck more than I ever had in that series. Like that was, that was a raunchy one. That game is very adult. And I felt like I was, I was entitled to have more adult commentary for that game. So it was really fun. Um, Cheryl says she's, she's eeping, sh, honk, shoo, minimum. What the heck were half of those words, Cheryl? <laughs> Disney says, oh, Baldur's Gate was wild, so much fun, so crazy. Yeah, 
we slept with like an illithid and a demon and and a bear man and we also slept with oh and a vampire he was our love us we're we're starian simps on this channel actually you spoiled the super secret fifth sage is it that is it really that super secret because like isn't that how many sages are in ocarina of time aren't there also actually i don't know how many are there are there five seven i don't really remember MKIP says, ha ha ha, I'm sure it was Disney, especially with Vinny. That's great. New PC, I'm excited to see the final product. And Disney says, did I miss something, David, or are you messing with Vinny? My attention is a little... I don't understand what David's talking about. Well, I understand the fifth sage thing. But I don't think it's a spoiler. I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe he's right. Maybe it is a little spoilery. But like, I don't know. PC building stream pog, says Cheryl. Fancy names. MKF says, that's great, so you're building an Optimus Prime. Essentially, yeah. And whoa, 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 what the fridge, man? <laughs> says Cheryl. I love using what the fridge instead of what the fuck. You know, because saying what the fridge is kind of funny and also kid-friendly. True. I mean, I don't know. I have been trying to be a little more, like, family, you know, friendly with this, going back to Breath of the Wild, but I have still retained some of the raunch. <laughs> We'll call it. Well, some of the adult humor. I've still retained some of it, because, like... This isn't really a kid's channel. Like, we just were talking earlier. Like, I don't think any 10-year-olds should really be watching my content. It's not like they can't. Sure, they can, but... It needs to be said that I'm not going to be, like, catering to younger audiences. Really, what I would love to shoot for for this channel is more, like, people from, like... Probably age, like, 16 to, like... I don't know. Anything over that. <laughs> but probably like 16 to like roughly like my age, you know? Which is like 24. I'm 24 years old. Y'all believed that, right? I'm certainly not turning 35 this year. My god. The world is gonna end in August. Mmm! Oh, no. I was gonna say, Nemkev, aren't you my birthday buddy? But no, that's Kalis. Kalis and I, and I share a birthday, but Kalis is no longer around. I think he got mad at me for something. But he's no longer around. <laughs> but yeah, he's my birthday buddy. I don't know. What month is your is your birthday in, Nemkev? There's seven sages in Ocarina of Time. Oh. Forest sage, water sage, shadow sage... Spirit Sage, Fire Sage. <laughs> Why am I missing two? Who am I missing? I don't know. Honestly, are you sure there's seven and not five? I don't know. Honestly, I'm having- I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Um... Oh my god, Disney. <laughs> Disney, did you butt type, like, P- It's like P-L colon apostrophe four, like, all these- It looks- honestly, it looks like old god speak. Cheryl says, the amount of times I've slipped up when talking to my younger cousins. Oh, man. A small bean jumped on my- Oh! A small bean ju your cat jumped onto your laptop. That's what happened. That's funny. Your- I think your cat just typed in Old God, Disney. I think your cat is Cthulhu. <laughs> I think your cat is literally just Cthulhu. Is this our 20th heart? <gasps> I think it is! Woohoo! 20th heart! Wow, friends, we're really- we're doing it to him. We are doing it to him. Nemkev says, nah, I just had my birthday on the 13th of this month. Now I'm 28th now, catching up to you. That's literally not how time works. You will never catch me. <laughs> you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, Nemkev. But happy belated birthday to you, friend. Wow, 28. I wish I was 28 still. Man, those were... Th 28 was the last year that I had before my body started turning on me in every possible way. I literally could have milk up until I was about 28. And then once 29 hit... Mm-mm. No, milk no longer. <laughs> no more milk. 
No more anything, honestly. No more fun. You get to have no more fun when you hit 30. David says there's six for sure, but the wiki counts Zelda as the seventh. Oh, so the Sage of Light. Wait, didn't I say light? Didn't I say light? I don't know. Cats are a menace when they sit on the keyboard. So Sage of Light. What did I... I still missed one, though, somehow. I don't know. Disney says, Nemkev, you're about a year behind me. Oh, yeah, Disney's... <gasps> Disney. 30 is a coming. Oh, it's a coming, Disney. Happy birth... Birth gel. Mimnikiv. <laughs> says Cheryl. Cheryl, are you possibly drunk tonight? <laughs> she says, I struggled. I shall keep that in mind. In seven years' time, will my body start crumbling? Yep. It, it, it comes for us all. The slow march of death. <laughs> or at least the slow march of lactose intolerance, I think, comes for us all eventually. Just stop aging, Vinny. We can be age buddies. Oh, man. If I could discover the secret of immortality... Well, I would never die, for starters, but also, wouldn't that be amazing slash terrible? I've talked about this a lot, but like, I think if I- I think if you could live to be way longer than humans can currently live, I think I'd want to live to be about 300. And then I think at that point I'd get bored. I feel like I would just get bored and like very depressed, especially if I was the only one that could live that long. Because then you would just watch, like, multiple generations of your friends and family just die, you know? It's kind of sad. Kind of real depressing. But then again, maybe I could just live my life as a vamp- as, like, a sexy Astarian vampire. Oh, Nemkev, have you seen? Okay, it's gonna be real messy. Okay, please do not judge me, but... Look. <laughs> have you seen my hair, Nemkev? It's, like, it's blonde now. And my- my roots are really coming back. God. H help. <laughs> How do hats work? Um, it's- my roots are really coming back. I have a hair appointment next week. So next week, I think on Thursday, if you tune into my stream, my hair should be, like, all white again. Like, basically- like, the goal is platinum blonde, but- but yeah. Yeah. Um... Disney says Zelda is separate, the Sage of Light is Raru. Oh, okay. So Zelda is just like, what, her own sage, unnamed? That's not fair. She has to be the sage of something. You can't just be the sage of nothing. Oh, really, Disney? That's cool, so I'll catch you first. Oh, because Disney's age. Just grab the Master Sword and you can find out what seven years does to you. <laughs> True. Oh, man. Imagine if they had a a time mechanic in this game. Can you imagine there being, like, two separate versions of Hyrule where you could go back in time, back and forth in time? That would be crazy. <laughs> My body has already started crumbling, says Disney. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Sorry it happens to all of us, though. I already feel it right now. I'm not even 21 yet, but I will be 21 this year. Dang, says Cheryl. Technically, you have... Caught me, lol. I'm currently 28, 29 in June. Oh. Saber Kite says, I don't mind getting older. I just wish my health would be like it was when I was 21 or something. Oh, don't we all wish that? Don't we all? Nemkev says, Oh my, I just that. That must be your reaction to my hair. And that is cool, Vinny. I like this color. Thanks. I don't know what. Honestly, I did not even look at myself in the viewfinder. My hair's probably a goddamned mess right now, but I swear when I do it, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Looks like kind of okay. Creaky bones and achy joints. Literally today I got out of bed and I was like, why are my legs still sore? I haven't done any phys anything physical for two days now. <laughs> like, sure, they were sore yesterday because I worked in the garden the day before that, but like they shouldn't have been still sore today. I don't know. I feel much better now, I think, but... See, Vinny, I caught up to Disney already, so you are next. Nemkev is just aging. Pretty soon, Nemkev is just gonna be dead. Like, in, in like 30 minutes, he's just gonna be aged like 99. My knees crunch when I climb stairs. My knees just crunch. Honestly, all of my joints make sounds these days. It's pretty awful. By the way, I moved to Dubai. Oh my gosh, Nemkev, wow. How, is it crazy there? I've heard it's like crazy there. <laughs> 
like in a good like crazy expensive and like am amazing buildings and you know cityscape and all that stuff david says how are stairs always trying to david says how are stairs always tiring to climb no matter if you're fit or otherwise i've never been fit a day in my life so i would not know I did age, like, once and died, but I got a second chance. <laughs> Alright. Was there anything else we needed to accomplish? We got our 20th heart. So wait, how do I... Is there a way for me to, like... Like, we should have six... Six shrines left? I think we have six shrines left. Look, I'm not even gonna look, because doing math, I'm like, yeah, if we get two more... And then another four, that'll get us another two heart containers. And I know we don't have eight left, so I'm pretty sure it's six. So here's what here's what our itinerary is going to be for the next couple of days. So tomorrow, I think we're going to get the rest of the shrines done. So tomorrow's going to be the 120th shrine. We're going to do that. We're going to maybe finish collecting the memories. We're going to do the la- Oh, I should have been chopping wood this whole time. Oh man, y'all- Here. Here, while I finish up the stream, let's do some manual labor, so we don't have to do as much of this tomorrow. Because <laughs> it would be kind of boring if I just opened up my stream tomorrow of me chopping down trees. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna finish up the memories, we're gonna finish up the shrines, we are going to do, um, the last of the Terrytown quests. And then after that, I don't know. We, depending on how much time we have left tomorrow, we might start the uh, the DLC shrines. We could do that. We could start them. Or we could... I don't know. We're not going to defeat Ganon until we finish all of... Like, we're doing the DLC shrines, we're doing the Master Sword Trials, and then we're doing Ganon. That's, like, kind of the order that I would like to do that in. Partly because... Here, do I have something better to chop with? Yeah, the Master Sword. Oh, except it's metal and I can't. So no, not really. I don't really have anything better to chop with. Well, this, maybe. Um, I would like to do the Master... Or I would like to do the rest of the shrines, especially the DLC ones, before we do the Master Sword Trials, because to my knowledge, your hearts do go into the, the Master Sword Trials with you. So the more hearts you have, the better off you are. Um, technically, I don't think it matters, really, because I could just make some overfill food, but... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get the shrines first, and then we're gonna do the Master Sword Trials. Um, and then we're gonna go defeat Ganon. I think all in that order is kind of like how I, I really want to progress the game going forward. So if we're really thinking through this, if we do finish all of... God... It's almost like it's storming here or something. Um, if we do finish all of the shrines, and or I should say the rest of the base game shrines and the memories tomorrow, then Thursday we can do DLC stuff. And I don't know how much we're going to get done. We might be able to get done... Because, like, how many shrines are in the DLC? You've got the base four that are in the plateau, and then you've got four for each of the each of the areas of, like, the Divine Beasts. So I think there's, like, a total of 20 extra shrines, plus there's, like, an entire dungeon at the end of all of it. There's, like, a boss fight. It's, like, pretty involved. Um, have I properly deforested this area yet? <laughs> um, there's a lot to do in the DLC, so we're definitely not going to be finishing the game this week, but I think there's a strong possibility that we may finish the game next week. Um, which is a good thing, because we do need to finish the game relatively soon, uh, because I'm about to go on vacation, and it would kind of suck if it was like, oh man, we just have one stream left, and then I had to go on vacation for like a week, you know? That would kind of suck. It may happen, but it, I'm gonna try to make it not happen. Um, Nemkev says, I, oh no, uh, Saber, Saber Kite says, Pandemic made it worse. My main exercise was walking up to my office 2.5 kilometers or so every day, but now I'm pretty stagnant. Currently lying in bed while typing this. All hashtag lying in bed game. And Nemkev says, Time is my games, Sir David. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah. But, but going back to what I was saying, like, we, we're kind of nearing the end. 
I mean, honestly, it it's sh it's a bit shocking even to me how quickly it has come. And it, honestly, it wasn't even breathing that hard. How was I supposed to know? But like, it's come pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, it, it it has come it's come pretty quickly. But it's it's upon us. So I think we maybe have less than five streams left. What are we on? Stream number twenty four. We might see a stream number 30 out of this series. We might. Um, hello? Oh, you were hiding behind a bush. Very clever, sir. Not clever enough to win, though. God, why am I using the Master Sword? It sucks. Oh, yeah, see how much that sucks? Here. The Rook's protection. Does this work? Oh, my God. Oh, that did... S Wait, what? Why was I still launched? That feels a little bit cheaty. I hate these guys. Why do they keep showing up? Like, take a hint. Where are you, a rejection junkie? I said no. I said I do not want to buy your extended warranty. Leave me alone and take me off of your call list. Honestly, why can't we? Why can't we have the Yiga take us off their call list? I didn't sign up for this. God, it's like how when I voted, now all of these, like, politicians send me, like, text messages. It's so annoying. It's like, I'm already gonna vote for you, now shut up! Leave me alone! Stop texting me every two minutes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna chop down the rest of the trees in this area, and then I think we will... I don't know what we'll do. How much wood do I have? Oh my god. We could technically get the rest of the 50 tonight, but... Oh, let's just get what we have here. Oh no, the Master Sword! It's low on energy! Oh, the Master Sword is dead now. Sort of like how Nemkev will be if he keeps aging at this, like, rapid increased rate. Uh, we don't- Oh, wait, we need to go to our house. That's gonna be the last thing we're gonna do. We'll go to the house, because we need to put the Thunderblade in it. Yes, I'm using... Oh. Oh, that's awkward. The wood that I was just cutting turned into firewood. <laughs> okay, you know what? Great flame blade. Turns out, not actually the best weapon for cutting wood. Here, I'm gonna use this. Because <laughs> honestly, at this point, I just don't even care. I have way too many weapons that I don't need. They serve me no purpose just sitting around in my inventory. God, this one's about to break too. That one broke. You're next. <laughs> come one, come all. Right, is that it? Because I can't, I can't, unfortunately I cannot cut down big trees. Be kind of cool if you could, but, you know, maybe get like a bunch of wood from them, but no, you can't. Alright, so we'll finish cutting our wood next time, but in, in the meantime, let's go back to Hateno. Uh, all the way down here. And we'll go drop off this Thunderblade at the house, because I don't want it in my inventory anymore. I want it gone. I'm sure everybody already has, by the way, but if you haven't already, like the stream, please. If you are in here or even watching this in the future, it helps us out a lot. We've had such a good stream tonight, though, friends. I can't even express to you how well this series has done and how happy it has made me. Like, I anticipate streaming every night because it's so much fun to just kind of hang out with you guys. And just kind of chill and have a good time. Aging won't kill me, I kill me. Wait, are you one of those people that's like, they find out they have terminal cancer and they're like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out this way and they just like, they do some like ridiculous stunt, like drive themselves off of like a cliff in the Grand Canyon, like a la Daredevil style. That's a terrible thing to actually think about, but kind of cool if you think about it, like taking agency over your own life. I'm not, look, I'm not promoting suicide. I'm just, actually it was a bad joke. Let's just, can I retract it? It was a bad joke. Dumb joke. <laughs> Nenkev made me do it! Ah. Is that good? You know what? Yeah, I like that order. That looks like a pretty good order for them to be in. Here, do we have a bow that would look good here? I mean, we could just put up another royal- Oh, we could put up a falcon bow. Wait, is this already a falcon bow? No, it's not. Here we go. That works. Honestly, the bows are disappointing in this game. 
there's not really a lot, like, there's a silver bow and a golden bow that I actually think I would prefer to have on this wall, but for the most part, those are really the only two bows that I think are interesting looking. And maybe this, I think this is a wooden bow. Um, there's obviously, like, way more cool-looking shields in the game, so there's, like, a million different shields that I could put up here. And then as far as weapons, I still think that nothing beats the elemental swords in terms of, like, how they look. But there we go! Completed sort of house. I mean, maybe we'll come back and we'll drop off some bows if we find a gold or a silver bow, but I'm pretty happy with that. Here, we'll come hang out next to Bolson. Bolson, I'm, I'm gonna come chill next to you. Oh, we kind of almost match, Bolson, a little bit. MKF says, yeah, I miss the atmosphere. Well, you don't have to miss it anymore, friend. Oh my god, you have such a dark side that I'll... Uh, you have a dark side? Ill that mind of yours? I like it. <laughs> I think the last game we played here was Xenoblade 3, right? No, you came for some of the Breath of the Wild, I thought. I think when we started this about a year ago, you came for a little bit of it. It's been, a, like, this series is technically been going on, or has been going on for a year, because we took a big long break and, of course, did BG3 in the middle of it, but um, I think you were here for some of this. I, I remember you being here, because we had, like, our, we had, like, our, wasn't it our one-year anniversary being back streaming on the channel? It was, like, the first episode of this game? I think it was. All right, friends, that is going to be it for tonight. We just hit three hours, and we got a lot done. I, how many streams? Did we did we do 10? I think we did 10 streams tonight. We did a memory and we did another part of the Terrytown quest. And I think we might have even done something else that I'm forgetting. But we've done a lot. I'm really, really happy with how tonight turned out, both in terms of how many people showed up and the, the chatting that we got to do and the fun that we got to have, but also the amount that we got done in like a fairly short period of time. Like, it just goes to show you that I can be both um, productive and funny at the same time. It doesn't have to be at the, ex the expense of one or the other like it usually is. <laughs> it's like you can pick one, Vinny. You can either be funny or you can actually get things done, but not both. But tonight proves that that is not, not the case. Disney says sh shrines. We did 10 shrines. Wait, what did I say? What the heck did I say? Did I not say shrines? Is my brain just saying weird crap again? What a great night though, says Disney. And David says 10 str- Oh, I said streams. I said streams. We did 10 streams tonight. Oh man. That is some productivity if I do say so myself. 10 streams in one is much funnier though. Okay, that that that's obviously what I said. Ha ha! I said 10 streams instead of shrines, but hey, they're they're similar enough, right? <laughs> Um, as per usual, friends, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like the video. I know I've said it a million times tonight, but I'm going to say it again because it's kind of my job. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be a good leader and post my own Discord for once and not make my little minions do it. Um, for anybody who maybe just tuned in or, or still needs it or whatever, there it is. It's in live chat. That's my Discord server. Come hang out with us. That's where I like post everything about the channel. Um, I, I literally made a poll today that said, hey, would you be interested in watching me build my, my new PC? And it was in the Discord, and so you actually sometimes get some agency over my content if you were in the Discord server. So, lots of incentive to be in there. It's also just a fun place to be. Uh, people post pictures of stuff all the time in there, of things that they like. Oh, Bolson is done with me. Well, fine, Bolson! God, look at Link's disappointment <laughs> and and sudden embarrassment as he flicks his face back forward. Um, Cheryl says, bye bye, bye bye, Cheryl. And MKev says, happy rest of the day for you all. Glad to see you all again. It was wonderful. What a surprise to see you. I'm so happy that you're back, Nemkev. That was wonderful. All right. Thank you, friends, for another wonderful stream. And I will see you all tomorrow for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. See you then, friends.